Bless your name. Worship his holy name. Bless your name. Worship his holy name. Give God thanks for his blessings. Amen. Praise him. Amen. Use this privilege to be the spirit of the living God. Amen. Um, I want to give God thanks for his goodness. Yes. I am blessed. Amen. He said, when I wake up in the morning, yes. till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. I want to greet the spirit of the living God, the ministers. I want to greet, amen, the wonderful saints here and on the line. I want to greet the children, praise God. I want to greet everyone at the reach of my voice. I will hear this later on or next week, wherever you, whenever you hear these special greetings. Praise Him. Amen. Um, God is truly wonderful. Yes, sir. It's truly wonderful what the Lord has done. Yes. Amen. Truly wonderful. Yes. He's the one that preserves us. He's a preserver. He's a keeper. Amen. The, the, the psalmist says, the shade upon our right hand. Yes. And I give God thanks for His blessings. Praise God. Amen. Um, I, I've been saying this statement for, for four months. The world is in chaos, Amen. but God is in order. Amen. Praise his holy name. The world is confused, but God understands and is leading the way. Amen. And so if you are in his care, it should not, you should not be worried. Praise his holy name. You should just serve him in spirit and in truth. Amen. I want to use this privilege to welcome back Sister Reed. Amen. I thank God that he preserved you to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. Praise his holy name. I pray that you'll feel better and better and better. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise Praise him. I want to greet Brother Ellis in a special name. It's good to see you. Praise his holy name. Praise him, say. Praise him another time. It's good to come. Amen. And I hope you join the rotation. Praise God. God is good. Praise him. Brethren, I am excited about this particular lesson. Because this lesson, if we get it right, it will fit us up for greater things. Praise his holy name. And so as we study it, I pray that the Lord will bless us. Today is 13th Sabbath. Amen. Praise him. Um, it will be done in a little bit a little bit differently because we have different rotations. Mm -hmm. So we decide to tweak it a little bit. It will be more of the norm. But in the afternoon we'll have the the, the, the program as we our 37th program in the afternoon with the permission of the youth, which we got it. So we'll be having that. So there's a slight variation. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise his holy name. Give God three praises, man. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Richard, when I look at the world, Richard, close to 130,000 people yes. have perished. Yeah. That they come. Yeah. CDC came on Thursday and said that the number of infections is way above what they what they, yeah, they, 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 they even account for. Yeah. The word they, they, the number they say is about probably ten times what they wow. they 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 have account for. The youth, the the, the the ones who they were saying is less less affected right now it's on the rise and what we're seeing is that um the disease is more the pan the disease is more infectious than they thought less deadly but more infectious than they thought and god has kept the church so far should we not give him thanks should we not give him praise should we not honor him with the, with, the, with the first fruit of our praise. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. And today I'm honored to be in his house. And I'm here to do nothing else but to worship. Amen. I'm here to do everything. To give him all the honor. And to give him all the praise. We praise his holy name. We just give him glory man. Yes. This morning we were fortified with a wonderful comment from the Lord. Our beloved King and Mokana. Amen. And Rachel I glean much from what he said. They will use righteousness against you. Yes. Praise him. Amen. Praise him. Amen. Daniel was Praise consistent in respect. Yes. And so, and there were and many other things, but those were two of the statements that really stood out to me. Praise his holy name. Amen. 
And I thought to myself that they used Daniel's righteousness against him because they couldn't find anything else. And then I thought about what if I were in Babylon and I was the president at the time. I am thinking that if I'm honest with myself, they could find some other things. They could find some other things to attack. Praise his holy name. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. And brethren, I know what Deacon said. He said this morning that Daniel was busy, but he found time to pray. Amen. The man was the president, but he found time to pray. Amen. He made time to pray. Amen. And some of us, the, 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 the bigger the job we have, the, the more money Excuse. we make, is the less time we spend with God. Excuse. Is the bigger the excuse yeah. and the less the time and the less the relationship we have with God. Daniel showed us otherwise. Praise God. Worship the Lord's name. Praise, praise, praise his holy name. Praise we praise his holy praise name. Praise Brethren, there's a lot of truth in Daniel. Yes, my When I look at Daniel chapter 6, brother friends, do you remember? I don't know how long it was like. Quite a few, you probably just came in the church. We can't, but, but not alone. Brethren, I, I was, as I, I don't know why I haven't read Daniel 6 in so long, but I saw a little note that says, in the lion, that's the topic, in the lion then, but not alone. And I remember, I remember you were young in the faith, and we were down there. Praise his holy name. We bless the name of Jesus. He was in the lion's den, but not alone. He had company, brethren. He is our heart grow. Pray, lay and tear my walk around. Praise his holy name. The I am virgin. There's so much juice in this thing. Praise his holy name. Do you realize, church, that Daniel was called that Daniel <laughs> when they were trying to fight him? The when they were trying to verse thirteen preacher, then he was called that Daniel. He was called, he was styled as that Daniel. Yes, sir. But in verse 28, he was called this Daniel. <laughs> Anybody look at look 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 good. In verse 13, he was called that Daniel. Because they were styling him. They were going to persecute him. He's a troublemaker. That's a, that one, that one there. He was put down, belittled, made small. But in verse 28. He was elevated further and he was called this Daniel. <laughs> oh, bless the name of Jesus. The Lord. I don't know where you stand this afternoon if you are not like this. Amen. But aim to be this because this means you are included. Amen. This means you are a part. Amen. This means that amen, it's not them, it's us, it's we. He yes, said yes, this Daniel. That means God acknowledged him, praise God, the king amen. recognized him. Bless the name of the Lord. Which is praise his holy name. Amen. There's another thing I notice in it, another juice I notice in it, preacher. Yes, that the president, when they made their petition to the king, they said, ah. Oh. Everybody has continued. <laughs> no, no, they said, ah, oh, the president. Anybody read that? They said, all oh, of us came together yeah. and built this. Yes, sir. Yes. So the king was thrown out because they said, ah. Oh. Yes, yeah. Now, if the big man is Daniel, yeah. And they're coming. It means that Daniel signed up and he too. Yes. Yeah. But the king didn't know Daniel got yet. He knew Daniel was faithful to him, preacher, but he didn't know Daniel's got yet. And so it, sound, it sounded excellent. It pick up the king. Come on. Make him feel nice. Hey, don't make them you know. Anytime somebody comes to your start, go to your watch them. Watch it. Watch it. Prospective leaders. Did somebody come, praise his holy name. Then they start to put praise that like butter. Calister. When they suck me, when they put my bread. Yeah. Yeah. And a cheese, when they suck me. Cream cheese, mayonnaise, yeah. and they start to spread it by yeah. it. Jelly. Kill it clog you up. <laughs> Open eyes, you can soon ask God what's going on. Brethren, they said, all oh, the presidents, they told a lie. They, they, they deceived the king. Brethren, what I realized is that the, the, the men knew. They said just 30 days. They knew that Daniel was not going to change in 30 days. 
Some of us brethren they could put three hours for me. Take a break. Three minutes. Break off of Jesus. God of mercy. They put 30 days. And when they look, when they check it out, brethren, Daniel was a was a was a was at multiple offenses. Amen. And get the preacher. One, like two, three. three times a day. One, two, three. three. The man and the man has started to call that this man is not a first time offender. <laughs> this man has multiple offenses. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> Praise his holy name. This man, this man record is, is, is rough because yeah. it's not a mistake you make. You do it all the time. Yeah. And around the that keep you open the window. Yeah, for your face. In your face, I'm mocking you. And why everybody see him? Yeah. Brethren, some of us all over deacon to the moon. I, I wish you could rewind it and listen. Deacon, brethren, some of us were opening window after we get in trouble. Oh, man, and I show up on the bed, so it's nice. I I and when we open the window, God shut the door. Praise the soul in it. But this, this, this is teaching me. If you usually keep up in a walk, no matter what, it went down. You better pray in your closet. <laughs> If you like a window open, I pray. No matter what, no. Play in the closet. Stay in the closet. The Lord will reward you. Open. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. I also recognize in the interest of time that God can rewrite the decree that somebody put on your life. God can rewrite whatever somebody said about you that made you feel like you couldn't go on. God can rewrite that decree. But it takes faith. Come on. Do you notice that the moment that the king lifted up Daniel out of the den, he commanded that he be pulled out of the den. Yes. So that he got cast everybody who was against him into the den. Yes. And after they died, what they wrote perish with them. Yes. Oh, somebody praise God. Yes. And so when that man perished with them, and God, the king had to rewrite about the living God, yes. he realized that for the rest of the time, when media pressure was in God, was preeminent, preeminent in media pressure. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. From 5.30 to 3.31, God was the done in media pressure. Yes. But God is so good. God was not like this king. Even though he was God and the Christians would forget him. Yeah. God still made him take over because the prophetic word said that after the, the golden kingdom would come and there's a kingdom. Yeah. And after that kingdom, the rebellion and tired. Yeah. The, the, the brass belly kingdom would come. Yeah. So God knew his glory. The Grecians would try it now. Yes, it would diminish, but he still made them go through. Because the Romans had to come to kill Christ. Yes. Oh, yes. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise we had to be delivered. Amen. Praise his holy name. Anybody see the Lord that drew salvation's plan? Amen. And the grace that brought it down to man? Oh, yes. And the mighty God that God did span? Amen. He did it at Calvary. Bless the name of the Lord. So we got much, I got much juice from it, man. I, I love it. There's much more, but in the interest of time, could the school stand and tell me the subject, the scripture reading, and the memory verse of today's lesson? Together, subject of our lesson is the effectiveness of sincere prayer. Our scripture reading is taken from Daniel 6. Our memory verse is taken from Daniel 6, verse 10. Volunteers to repeat the memory verse. But I roach, she stands alone today. Praise the Lord. Praise him one more time. Glory to God. Praise his holy name. Daniel 6 and 10. Now when Daniel knew that this writing was signed, he went into his house. And his widow be opened in his chamber towards Jerusalem. He kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave that before his God as he did a full time. Praise him, clap your hands up, Brother Roach. Praise him, thank you, Brother Roach, for, for, for being consistent. Amen. Preacher, when, when the devil attack you, preacher, remember your memory verses. Dig deep inside you and, and keep fighting. Praise his holy name. May God bless you and your family, your wife, your children, preacher. As you continue to feed on the word, it will transfer it to them. And your family overall will be a blessing. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Amen. The objective. Could all the brothers read the objective with me? All the brothers stand and read the objectives with me. Today's objective is the primary aim of this lesson. 
is to educate members on the effectiveness of sincere prayer and the need to exercise faith. Praise him. Sisters, read the introduction with me. Emails. According to the Oxford Press 2018, prayer is defined as a communication process that allows us to talk to God. In the quote. In order for one's prayer to be sincere and effective, one must be pure, upright, and fervent in his or her beliefs, both in secret and in the open. As Christians, let us pray without ceasing and always be sincere in the sight of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The effectiveness of sincere prayer. What does the word effectiveness mean? What does it mean to you? Somebody? But why? When you hear the word effective, what comes to your mind? Okay. But white says there's an urgency to it. It's, it, it. In his mind, when he hears effective, it sounds urgent. Jay Van Cam, what you got? Praise the Lord. Praise him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise him. In Jesus' name. Really? When I hear effective, um, I think to what situation you're presented with, it's kind of like um, the best way to solve it, yeah. or it's like a, a solution to the problem. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Just a, just a lie. When you hear the word effective, what comes to your mind? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, something that makes a difference. It's a different, it was um, something was done because of it is effective. So when something is effective, um, you see the result of it. Praise Jonathan, thank you, Sister Lyle. Jonathan, at the back. Mr. Baxter, what, when you see the word effective, effectiveness, it comes on the word effective or effect, what does it mean? It either works or it works better. Hmm. It works or it works better? Yeah. But I wrote you said that you have something. Yeah, I, I just go back to the fruit, the fulfillment, the, the, the fulfillment, the fruit of so when something is effective, it's adequate to accomplish a purpose. Yes, sir. When the dictionary defines the word effect, effectiveness comes from the word effect or effective. When something is effective, it's adequate to, it's enough to achieve a given purpose or an outset. Praise God. Amen. Praise Him. Praise effective God. means it's efficient. Praise His holy name. Amen. It's practical. It's sufficient. It's fulfilling. Yes, yes. Praise His holy name. It's capable. Amen. Yes? yes. Amen. Praise his holy name. It moves the bar. Yes, yes, Praise his holy name. The now, sincere is the adjective that describes prayer. What does sincere mean? Brother Aaron, what does sincere mean? Um, Brother Angus, sincere. Free of um, being honest, free of dissimulation. Boy, you saw big hour there, No. <laughs> but like it says, being honest. <laughs> Yeah, it's a one word that might be heard, but we have to do myself. So that's the honest part. Dissimulation, rough. Chop it up. And we say, we know dissimulation. <laughs> or if we look it up, what it means. Thank you, Brother Aaron Wilson. It's honest. Sister Randa, what you got? When you hear the word um, sincere, what comes to your spirit? What comes to your mind? Um, doing something wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Present. Present. From, from the bottom of your heart. Sister, Sister Bax, you have an addition? It's profound. It's profound. Sincere means profound. Genuine. 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 Authentic. Earnest. Authentic. Original. Praise his holy name. Amen. Praise him. Amen. It's devout. Devout is the word. Yeah. And so, prayer is defined by the known as the way that we communicate with God. So that if you put the subject together, it is saying that sincere prayer can fulfill the purpose for which you're praying. Come on. Amen. If you're sincere, you're gonna be, as Javan said, the outcome will be positive. It may not be what you want it to be, but it will be positive. Amen. Shall we praise his holy name? Amen. Worship the Lord with me. Amen. Praise his holy name. Question one. Why should we be sincere and fervent in prayer? Psalm 62, 8. 
And James 5, verse 16. I want to read it. But the Anglo sign. Jonathan. Jonathan Baxter. I want to read it. Psalm 62, 8 and James 5. What? Why should we be sincere and fervent in prayer? Praise the Lord. Praise him, sir. Psalm 62, verse 8. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. What is the last part you said? God is a refuge for us. God is a refuge for us. Amen. Amen. Brother Angus. James 5, verse 16 says, Please use the mic. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Um, Jonathan, but I an answer first. Why should we be sincere and fervent in prayer? Um, yeah, because it will avail of much. Uh, the, it's a factual, the factual prayer of a righteous man avails much. When you're honest. Yes, it yields much. Praise him. And there's a part before that phrase that says for healing. Oh, yeah. And it, 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 the outcome, yes. Brother, Brother Jonathan, Mr. Jonathan, why should we be sincere and fervent in prayer? Because God is our refuge for us. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 God is a refuge. Yes. Is that enough to be sincere? Is that enough to be sincere for? Yes, sir. Yes. My thing is that a lot of people don't know. They know what the word sincere means. But I don't think we're, some people who made the connection with sincere prior. I want us to think about the indicators of sincerity. What are some of the signs you see when something, when prior is sincere? I have a list here, and I want to compare it with what you think about. Indicators of sincere pride. The first thing I notice, church, is that sincere prayer is focused on God. Reason? The sincere prayer is focused on God. The person praying is not focused on those around them. Talking about indicators of sincere prayers. When you're praying, you're not thinking about who is listening to you. You're not forming your words or putting it together to impress those who are here. I've heard some real prayers preacher. Oh Lord my God. Because of who is there. Eloquent. And the eloquent stayed away from the connection preacher. It distorts the connection. Sincerity lasts. And when I'm doing this, as I come off the mountain of pride. I'm not saying everybody who said that isn't sincere. I'm just saying. <laughs> The focus should be on God. Look at Daniel. Daniel did as, he, did as he used to do four times. He opened his window, kind of business with what's going on. Nothing changed his, his old demeanor attitude. Anna didn't, didn't worry about the, 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 the priest preacher. She just did what was what 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 the connection caused her to do. Praise his holy name. Amen, amen, amen. But you bless God. The, the, the focus is on God. You are blessing. You are acknowledging the blesser and not the blessing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Get it? Because the focus is on God. Look at Abraham, Anna. Look at all these men. The focus was on God. The blesser and not so much the blessing. Anna was so focused that she gave back 
God, what you was asking him for? Because the focus was on God now. Praise Amen. the Lord. Sincerity, an indicator is that the focus is on God. Praise his holy name. Amen. You're tuning out the destructors. You're not trying to impress oh, no. those who are online. Like that. You're not going back and listening to the prayer to see how you could improve it. Yeah. Try again. But you know, I keep laughing. Because somebody right now is repenting. <laughs> and I hope you're repenting. Man, Jesus, you come back and you're the prayer partner and say, okay, we bless, okay. You know, somebody believe I'm my sister, um, so I said, tell me, mash it up. Mash it up. You know, it's, 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 a, it's an indicator of Chimble, self. Chimble device. Another indicator I notice is more the purpose for which you're praying. Amen. Praise Praise him. Knowing the purpose of your prayer. I just said I, I was just saying. Knowing the you, an indicator of sincerity is not the purpose of which you're praying. Some people are praying when they should be repenting. Mighty God. Amen. Anybody get that? Amen. Some people are rejoicing when they should be repenting in the prayer. Know the purpose for which you're praying. Sometimes people build it a routine, but Daniel had a routine, but it was purpose driven. Yeah. Nothing is wrong with that. People say that prayers are routine. It's okay. Routine is not. As long as it's, as I'm talking about an indicator, you should have a purpose. Maybe your morning prayer focus on the church here. Maybe your afternoon prayer focus on your family. Maybe the evening prayer focus on something else. I don't know. But routine, having a set time to pray, nothing is wrong with that. Sometimes people sit and critique it. You are like the president who tear down Daniel. That's very good. Because you're not even praying. And you're not talking about your prayer so much. Yes. So, still know the purpose for praying. And I just want to throw in there that routine is okay. Mm -hmm. As long as it's purpose driven. Praise his holy name. Amen. Positioning is important. Daniel looked towards Jerusalem and he knelt. Sometimes prayer requires you to lay down. Sometimes, oh man. Preacher, sometimes up on day five, day six. You can't sometimes you. up on day three. You have to lay down prostrate. Yes. Like Joshua. Praise his holy name. Yeah. Sometimes I'm the trouble of lay between the porches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see, Kel, I have to lay on one side. You couldn't get up. I got to tell him to lay down. I'm just saying position is important. So if you're kneeling, when you should be standing, we should talk to them who oh, almost had come before you. Yes, yes, yes. We should Esther to go before the king. She had to say, if I perish, I perish. We should know that God had gone before. I'm not saying to be fearful, but respect God. Reverence, yes. reverence. Reverence what you're coming to him for. Sometimes you have to lay down in front of him. Sometimes you have to kneel. Sometimes you have to stand and lift up your hand. Sometimes you have to sit. Praise his holy name. Ask God, how, how, how should I come to you today? For you hear me. Sincerity, I think positioning is important. More than that, fourth one, I think, that lifestyle, the consistency. Yes, yes, yes. The consistency in right doing is critical for as an indicator of sincerity. Even though you say I and my fathers have sinned, your everyday lifestyle can't just be sinner lifestyle. You have to have a lifestyle of right doing. Consistent, right, man. Can you come out the bed of fornication? And get up my Lord. Bless God, Lord. I come before your presence today. Amen. Oh, wretched man that I am. Yes, you are. God, I've sinned, but you know your grace is sufficient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> come out the bed of adultery. Come out the come out the stool of lies. Come out the come out of the car of hypocrisy. Anything where we have come from. 
Because I'm not you know anything from, from not that knowledge you can go right down to the last, the covetousness. Amen. Any one of those men are getting out the bar and saying, and, and, and talking to God about uh, your lifestyle must be consistent as an indicator of sincerity. That's why I said the effective fervent prayer of who? All right, just the right, the man that does right doing what else? The man that does the right thing. It availeth much. That I means some of us need to repent today. Oh yes. Remember, yes. yes. some of us need to repent. Some of us need to repent. Because we're the right. Our lifestyle is not consistent. We're up and down. We're all over the place. Let us learn today. Praise him. Yes, let, us, let us come down a notch. Amen. Let us stop playing with God. Amen. There, was a, there was a young boy who wanted to go to he wanted to go to a party and he asked his father. And his father said that the crowd that the people are going, they're going to have alcohol there and drinking. And I'm not saying you, you're a teenager. And the boy was adamant to go. And the father tells him, after the father lying it out, he says, no. And that's my final answer. And the father walked away. He slumped his shoulders. And he went and, and was disgruntled, complained. But he knew his father. His father was a guy who, who normally may come back to him and, you know, do what we talk about it. And what is, what happened next before the little young man? He smelled bacon. Smell brownies, his favorite brownies, he could smell it. Coming from the kitchen, he said, Oh, my brother, me up now, my father, he won't come back, I apologize. I'm gonna chat to him, and I go, Hey, and he, he after what is the, the smell got stronger and stronger. And after about the time when it takes to make brownies, I don't know how long that is, because I never break brownies. Four to five months. He said, Brother Romain, you don't have any experience either, so I don't know. I'm missing each other. <laughs> <laughs> I like the reading, you're reading, you're reading, preacher. You're reading, preacher. Reading let, us, let us build some brownies. We can make some brownies. We'll make some brownies next year. We'll make some meat. Because we're not expensive, bro. Praise him. Praise him. Okay, you can't do it quicker. You can't take a hit, man. So, preacher, it's a 45 minutes. I'm going better with me. 45 minutes. Everybody confirm? No, no, the bakers are not the more preacher. Me, you're the more, you're the less preacher. So, four to five minutes passed. The father came out to say, Shakira, with the best smelling looking brownies. And he said, Son, you know, we had a talk about it, and I know you don't feel good. And then we give him the puppy face, like, I know you'll come back, whatever. He said, I made you the best brownies. I used the best sweet flour. I made, I used the, I used the pure sugar cane. I used the, I mean, he got the sugar from the, the, the brown sugar. I used the, the, the ice, the, the eye end of everything. And I also put a secret ingredient in it. And the boy had the, um, the cookie in his hand about to bite. He said, before you bite, I want to tell you everything I put in it. And he said, I, 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 got, I went into the yard and I picked up a, a, a small touch of dog mess. And the boy threw on the cookie and said, Daddy, what would you make? He said, he said, don't worry about it, son. Don't worry about it. Because the, the, the strength of the, the heat, the strength of the sugar, the strength of the other ingredients have taken out that. So it's okay. It's just a little thing. It's not going to be a, be a big deal. Go ahead and eat it. And he chewed out the cookie in the pan. He said, Dad, you're crazy. Why would I want to indulge in something with dog mess in it? His father said, well, that's kind of what the party is. It's inconsistent with what I've taught you. It looks like a little thing and it won't impact your life. But God is looking at it as a mess. mess, a mess. I'm saying to the church when it comes to righteousness, preaching sometimes we or preaching, the fact that I'm up here teaching, sometimes preach uh, the music, the different things drawn out of the speak. Yes. But God is saying we have prayer to be effective. Yes, smell you have it. God is still smelling dark mess in our lives. God still see. God can see you when you are making. Mighty God. Jesus. So we can't fool God. So when you come, Brother John, and you sit with some mess in this 
morning. I was blessed by it. Anybody blessed this morning? Amen. Tell me the song this song this morning. I wanna be where you are. I'm gonna tell you that my stream is nice. You, know, you are. <laughs> And I know we didn't say whatever, but guess what, brother John? Gonna watch your brownie. Praise him. God, see when you're making it. Yeah. And I know you see my cry on with a behind this morning. God knows what, what in your baking. Amen. Anybody can look quiet? Amen. 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 And what I'm saying to us, if you're not sincere, Sister Rhonda, God knows it. Because he was watching you all the time. He's all seen. Everybody get it? Amen. Can we say the, the next one, preacher? You got the, an indicator of an indicator of sincerity is humility. <laughs> eh? Humility. So we are coming to that like that. We are that. God has fast three times a week. Yeah. Or the last time we fast, we mush it up. Yeah. <laughs> no food, no water. God, you see me, I'm your, I, I'm, I'm your servant. <laughs> God, you see me, my dress long, my jacket, my jacket is well fit. I, I do everything. The church says, God, you see me. Best in your home, God. God, you see, there's no like me around here. Valiant servant. And some of we may not use those words, but our attitude portrays those feelings. Amen, amen, amen. No, 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 you can that right you get the preacher? God, there's no like that. God said, mm. Good evening, bucket. And I have a big tune for you. And the point I'm making is that we become the publican. When you become humble. The man that says he was so, he bowed his head, he would not even look. He called himself a sinner. Humility goes afar. Amen, church? Amen. Amen. An indicator of sincerity is humility. Putting yourself in the correct position before God. David said such knowledge is too wonderful. It is high. I cannot attain to it. David give God his preeminence, his highness, his majesty. And don't try to take that glory. Stay in your lane with God. God is saying, I'm saying to you, sorry, that indicators of, one indicator of sincerity is what I call humility. Praise his holy name. Amen. Another one I have here is that you should, an indicator of sincerity is that your request aligns with God's will. Amen. Some of the things that we're asking for is insincere. God knows that God not give it. And, and you know the heart of God give it, we're not going to make it. True. But we still ask for it. God, I need some quail. <laughs> God, mother, it's not good enough for me. God, I see that you're pouring down angels' food and I feel blessed, but I'm not happy. I need my cook of my God, when I was in the world, I used to have cucumber and garlic and melon. <laughs> hey, I used to experience so and so. Now I want quail. I want meat. This man, that man, can't, can't manage it. Can't manage it. It's it kind now. Bridget, righteousness can't be kind, you know. So you get up angry every day. Don't, become a, don't, don't talk about cliche. I'm tired of this. Everything. It's yes, it's a routine. Church it's a good thing. It was going to lead you into the kingdom. Church told preacher. March out. out. <laughs> I listened to you just this week, preacher. Yesterday, I listened to you yesterday. <laughs> Take me to the king. I listened to you yesterday. But you said, I tell you, I'm a real dog. I said, pull up. I was in my garage by myself. I was a real DJ. And I was a pull it up. She said, I'm out of church. And I was like, out, out, out. <laughs> I'm realizing that she don't want no rule, no, no religion. Drink. <laughs> she, she don't want no rule, no religion. So I realize that it's not Mr. Madhuri. So I am saying to you, humility is critical. Anybody get that? Your request should align with God's will. When you're asking for something, talk to God about it. See if it match up with his will. Does it match with 
The direction God has having in your life with your life. So before a career, choices don't match with God's will. Amen. God, you see me love God. God, you see me. God, you see me want to bust it. God, hey, come, God, I'm going to tell you mili mi military mi cheese. Mi mi military? <laughs> Wait up. <laughs> uh, military. <laughs> and you could have cried for your heart. It becomes insincere because it doesn't match with his words or his will. Exactly. Amen. I belong to Sister Melissa. Where are you guys to be from? <laughs> you could cry like Esau. With, with, with that tears preacher, it comes into nothing. nothing. So what I'm saying, make sure your request aligns with God's will. And sometimes we can we can look at this morning. Sometimes when you pray and you don't see come true today, it don't mean that God didn't hear. Delay don't mean deny. You have to be patient. I wrote the preacher, be patient because your timing could be off. Your prayer could be sincere. Everything is just the time is off. You think I'm going to Isaac prayer, preacher? For, it took 20 years. Yeah. Praise him. And the last thing, the seventh time I'm going to stop there. You can give me more if you have it. Unselfishness is an indicator of sincerity. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise you should remember others. When you're praying, that's an indicator of sincerity. Two men were shipwrecked on an island preacher. And they, they were the only two survivors. And you know what they did, preacher? They, they decided to one take one side of the island, one to the other side. And they're going to pray for deliverance. And they're like, boy, God, we hear anyone of you that is sincere. The first one get up and him pray and say, God, you know, over here dry, I'm on something. And in the interest of time, he found a tree on his side of the island, the only tree that was being anything. And, you know, and he said, God, we're alone over here. Because we have separated ourselves. We want a companion. And another, another board worship preacher, and another the worship with it. And they, they, they marry themselves. I don't know, Jay, when you just marry yourself. <laughs> and everything he prayed for came true. And the last thing he prayed is to be delivered from the island. And he was rescued. But on his way to be rescued, he said, I'm not taking the other man because he's insincere. Not a thing, everything. I am the only one that God bless. So the whole time I get a tree, I get a wife, I see him get the deliverance here. And Virgin God spoke to him. Mm. He said, I rebuke you. That man over there, prayer was answered. Amen. He said, Oh, we're gonna see with a tree, we're gonna see with him. He said, from the first year he prayed that I will answer all of your prayers. Mighty God. The sincerity. Of that man, then he both of them get out there. It's a story, but the moral behind it is that you cannot be selfish. Selflessness, unselfishness is an indicator of sincerity. When you put others before yourself when you're praying, we praise his holy name. Sister Debbie, you have your hand. No? Javan, you have your hand. No? Okay. But Deacon, you have your hand. Yes. We need to go to school. Amen. I have a question, Pastor, to ask. Mm -hmm. Does, as Bridget, does Bridget more sincere than other Bridget? Yes. Does Bridget pray more sincere than other Bridget? Mr. Man, what do you think? You think some some virgins are more sincere than some people, some virgins, some the prayer of some brethren more sincere than the prayer of others. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. I would say yes. Because based on some things I would say, it's just like you were saying a little bit earlier. Um, is that some people when they pray, they're only praying to be seen or heard. Mm -hmm. You know, they're using very sophisticated words 
you know, they're using all the Bible scriptures and just everything just to show off. While other people, and some other brethren on the other hand, they will pray. They remember what you talked about a couple weeks ago or last month and say, God, even if that person was delivered from it, keep them from it again. And, you know, they'll take everything into consideration when praying. They don't, and like you said, they'll focus on God only. Some people, they pray, I don't know. I just feel that, yes, some people aren't as sincere when they're praying as others are. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands for her. All right. Anybody else want to say something? Deacon, I agree with Sister, Sister Miles. I agree with Sister Miles. I'll let you come back. Yes, you have, you have break because in a house, there are vessels of honor. You have vessels of this honor. You have Bible said Matthew 25 that the kingdom of heaven is likened unto. Right. Remember what Sister Chantel said last week? Ten virgins. Five were wise and five were foolish. Yeah. Jesus have 12 disciples, preacher, 11 sincere, one one is a and devil. one was a devil. Son of and he thought that 11 had somewhere doubtful. We have to see the, we have to see the actual. Um, the the nail in the hole. What I'm saying, um, Put my finger Peter, through. you have to tell him when you convert in straight. Straight 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 straight. Straight. So, so um, I, I've seen with the Pharisee and the publican, those are all um, replicas of the church. The church is going to have people of sincerity and people of insincerity. The congregation is always, the church is always in the congregation. So deacon, yes preacher, it's sad to say, but to have people will be sitting in the same assembly. And I'm telling you, the Bible says, one will be taken and the other left. You have Pharisee and you have publican. You have wise and you have foolish. You have, you have, um, you have Peter and Andrew and James, they have Judas. So you have a mixture of person, the wheat and the tears. I can go on and on with different metaphors the Bible used to describe the mixed multitude. He said it this morning. Coming up from Egypt, it was not always all Israelite. You have people mixed with it. The problem is that you're going to have persons you can have um, those um, qualities. And so, because of the people are different, you're going to have that. So the, the insincerity is not based on your height. It's not based on your stature. It's not based on, on your color of your skin. It's based on the lifestyle you're living. In church, you, you, are, you have persons who are trying to scam God. <laughs> and because you have people who are trying to scam the Lord, you got to have um, scam and prayer too. Huh. That's the point. Your, your, your prayer is going to match your lifestyle. And that's what I said, the indicators of sincerity. If you have persons who are praying, with, if it was not focused, who they don't know the purpose that they're praying. They don't know, uh, they're, they're not adept to the position that will reach God. They're not, their lifestyles are consistent. They're not humble. Their request doesn't align with his will. Or they're unselfish. Or they're sorry, they're selfish. The, um, all of those things will cause um, that. I'm com are you coming back, Deacon? Yes, are you coming on Deacon's thing? Or something first? Go ahead, Deacon. Where will I, will I um, read James? James 5 verse 16. Yeah. He said the prayer of a righteous man. So I wonder, wonder if some people that have been righteous then. That's what they said. I can't do the Bible because he said the prayer of a righteous man. He said the prayer of a righteous man. I it most. Yeah. 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 So you pray God and deliver the righteous then. Yes, man. It's a new indicator of righteous man. So the body can't call upon you because they say, boy, you're sincere. That means you have to check yourself in. Yes, Peter. Thank you, God. Wow. <laughs> but she's shot, Peter. Because uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, so everybody inside here, people keep on getting caught by anybody inside here, we pray for them then. Yes, sir. We are like, we are like, we are like, That means we should have got the special spotted. If you're in a right job. They can't say, boy, we can't find one that pass a leader. We put that down when we can't be all supposed to be righteous. <laughs> so that's why I ask the question of the top is upon what the scripture said. Mm. I differ a little bit though from that leader. Um, what you're saying is, is almost there for me 
there's one thing. You remember, you remember the story with um, Simon? Yeah. The up, the, the sorcerer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The apostles lay their hands. Lay their hands. And men filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He wanted to buy that. Yeah. See, he didn't, he didn't get that gift. Right. Paul, they laid hands in Acts 19. A man filled. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not everybody have that gift. There are people who have gifts in the church. Yeah. It may not be the pastor. The pastor has to be able to pray for people. Because they call for the elders. Yeah. But it's not only the pastor that should be able to. I was, so I was saying to you, Deacon, in this. That sometimes you have a person who may have a gift. And, and, and they may be called upon in a situation. It doesn't mean that there are other people there who are that sincere. It's just that that person has a gift. That's what I was trying to make. So, Your so, point is, is not incorrect. I'm just adding okay, to it. Okay, I'm coming. Because I know that I'm not sincere. I'm just saying no, because I'm very careful of myself. Thank you, my mate. Thank you, my mate. Prior to the Bible, you can't go in. Sincere, gentlemen. So you can't you can say, can't keep it different. Can they give come after can we see the other night and they give it give come? Mike Bridger, nice. You understand the boss? Yeah. Well then I start to give come after their night. You know. But prayer, and the same sports can put. I'm and the same can call call upon to pray for, pray for you. I'm not negating it. I'm just saying that sometimes you have persons who are um I don't know how to put it. They're just prayer words. They have, a, they have a probably a deeper collection. And they may they may exercise it um, more frequently, more readily. And that's all I'm saying, that you have some persons who, the, 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 the reason why Simon wanted to buy it was he saw something that he couldn't do. And I'm not, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that Philip was more sincere than, um, Peter or anybody else, or vice versa. I'm just saying that they had gift. Look here, Philip did it with Simon, and he didn't know someone else came up. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And then the, the next Simon, the next Peter comes. A lick shot. And says some rough things. So what I'm saying is that I'm not saying that um, Britain, um that that Philip was less sincere than um than Peter. God, Philip, God beat him up. Just God, God came him up to the you know. I want him to take him up like Star Trek and carry him somewhere. Beat him out of the place. So, Philip, I'm a deep connection with God, but at the time, something might. All right, I'm going to say this then. Let me, I'm, so, deep, I agree with you. I'm just adding to it. That some situation may fit somebody else. Two, it's not every situation going to fit everybody. I'm going to tell you the truth. Amen. Um. And I'm saying to us that um, some of we are sincerely wrong. Because some situation preacher may call for a sister yeah. to lay the hands. Yes. And if I go with the thing that because I'm a minister and a man, I'm the one that has to do it because I'm sincere and effective, that can be a dangerous start for sister to be. Yeah, yeah. You understand? This is the first of cancer that I want to. If you touch them, me not, I don't believe me. God has to really take me over. You know, my right mind, Sister Fraser, be prepared to lay hands. Sister Chakia, please be prepared to lay hands. You have some, you have some, you have some auntie of husband. I come and I say, oh, the man I want to see my wife. But enough, you know what may happen. Bridget, so we took grace, we believe that because we are men, we both, everything is, it, it don't work like that. And thank God you're quiet, because I hope you learn. It don't have to be like that. Praise is all in there. And so, um, yes, uh, um, multi you, you, there are multi multiple situations and, and persons that can attend to a situation. It doesn't have to be one person. So yes, Dick, I agree with your point. I'm just adding to it. Sister Deborah. Praise the Lord. 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 Okay, so my question is, what if someone is praying for someone else? They, the person asks for prayer. And the person praying for them is not really sincere, but the person on the receiving end isn't, doesn't really know that. Um, but the prayers have gone forth, um, but it's not sincere. Can the person on the receiving end, can their faith 
in that prayer still make the prayer effective? Anybody? Underline her in the church? You ask somebody to pray for you, but they're, they're not effective. They're not, they're not sincere. Can your faith yeah, that's all nice. How do you know? Because of the lifestyle region. So why you ask When she asking me many questions, I don't know. The lady asked the question, preacher, we can't add to it. She said, you ask the person, you're not sincere. All right, preacher, come and church, preacher. And they said, well, there's a bunch of prayer for everybody. And he said, well, it's God, I, I need I need to ask, so could you pray with me? And then, one day I drive the Sivan to on a corner like this, you know? And do a thing, I say, what the man do? The man is going to the standard. Yeah. But, guess what happened? When the, when the person asks you at the time, right. she's asking, could her faith, could her faith in God, because she's looking to God, lift it up? And I'm going to tell you yes. yes sir. Because even though she looked to you as a, vacuum, as, a, as, a, as a connector to God, she's still looking to God. Her faith was not to you. And so when you ask people, we pray with you or for you, you still have to look to God. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Amen, amen. You have to still look to God. Amen. You can't look, they're not looking to the person that God you look to. Yes. Praise his holy name. Amen. So I am, I am saying, look to God. And if you look to God, God can, get, God can bring it through. That's the first one. And I also, I would say, Sister David, to make sure that you still point out to the person that I ask you to pray for me. But I want you to make sure that you pull up your lifestyle. Amen. So that when somebody else asks you, you're ready. Because um, by faith it came true, but um, I don't like what you're doing so and so. Yeah. Sister Marlon, you have a point? Yes. After this point, I'm going to take question two. We praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Or the B praise the Lord. I've, I heard of um, greetings in Jesus' name. I heard part of what she's saying. Sometimes you ask a prayer, but sometimes the Holy Spirit directs you to somebody else. Because like with me, it happened to me like many times. You might ask me to pray, but I might pray, but then the Spirit lead me to a deeper place with Sister Sophia, for example, right. or Sister Rhonda, because this, that's where this, that's why you have to. Sometimes the Bible says, "Man, I don't know what to pray," but the Spirit will make intercession. Mm -hmm. And if you're praying, um, and the Lord directs you to pray for Sister Rhonda, praise the name of Jesus. An example, like even last night we were praying. And um, Sister Baxter was praying that it was Sister Rhonda that came, you know, that she was calling out to. But initially, I'm pretty sure that's not who she was praying for. Sister Debbie, I hear you. Sometimes the Spirit of God can direct you, even though you might ask a prayer. But the Spirit of God might bring up somebody else in front of me. And that's who the Spirit of God is going to allow me to pray for. Praise the Lord. Jesus adding to it. Alex, which you see. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. Right, thank you very much. So the B part that hope you're satisfied, sister. Okay. Share an example where you were sincere in prayer and the Lord answered your request. Share an example where you were sincere in prayer and the Lord answered your request. Everybody afraid now because they're trying to hear your sincerity. is now a challenge. <laughs> nobody nobody, nobody want to get... Sister Baxter, tell me a time when you were... Um, The Lord. Then I'm coming to Brother Ryan. Greetings to the school. For an example, we were sincere in prayer. Brethren, when um, myself and Brother Baxter were to be married, uh, there were many, many roadblocks in the way. And we went into prayer. And we said, Lord, if this is to be, then uh, work it out for us. And He did. Amen. Some people would think that it came through. The, the, I would say to me it came through at the very last minute but he came through for us he was on time wow. we were waiting for his passport to come because we couldn't go and get a license without it and we were waiting and brethren we were trying to figure out how to get it to come and um, it, it was a, a deaconess that said oh you didn't tell me say, Yo, you, my son down there he's coming and can not bring it up for you and brethren, when he put it in his coat pocket, we said, oh, you were packed in the suitcase, but in your coat pocket, so we know where it is. And we were supposed to be at the courthouse at 9 o'clock in the morning to sign for the license. We got the passport at about 3 o'clock that morning. Wow. Went to the Bronx and got it. 
and was able to go. So when we went into prayer and fasting about the prayer, and we sought God, we said, God, if this is to be, if you have sanctioned this, you put your stamp of approval on this, this is what we're looking for, and God came through. Praise him. Clap your hands. Anybody else want to share? Brother Roach. Brother Roach. After Brother Riley. Brother Riley was the former man. Yeah. He's a... Uh, Brother Roach next. To prepare. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We can praise the Lord Almighty. Praise the Lord. Greetings to the Lord in Jesus. Amen. Um, the pause isn't because I can't find any. It's because I'm trying to pick, you know, which one? Multiple. <laughs> Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Right, so, so this is the one that came back while I was there. Um, so before joining Georgia on the line, before you know, even being baptized, all of this different thing. I remember December 2015, that was the, the month that I graduated, or the year that I graduated. And it was about two weeks before graduation. Um, I was looking for a job. Because you know, you're graduated, you have loans, you have all of these different things. And um, you know, you're looking at, I was looking at myself and I said, boy, if I could graduate now, Maybe a six months forgiveness before the loan oh, repayments Jesus. come true. Um, I got interview of the interview. The responses start out. It was a pleasure to, to interview with you. <laughs> yes. And then you think, say, on good line, I come up with a book. Um, you were not the person we were looking yeah, for. You were not qualified or you were not that. And I remember um, saying to myself, well, I don't really have anything. I don't know what to do. And I remember. Um, Pray, and I remember saying to God that um, I really don't have anywhere else to turn. I've tried to do everything on my own. You know, I put the resume how everybody said it should look. Uh, I put all of the skills that I have on every single thing. I went looking like oh I should have looked, but nothing came through. Nothing happened. So I'm leaving it to you. And um, I remember like a day before graduation, so we had rehearsals and everything. And I got a, um, I didn't remember about that interview. It was like a week before the graduation, I went to an interview and, you know, it was, like anyone else, it, it ended up well. But like the day before the graduation, I got a, um, an email saying that, oh, um, Mr. Riley, you have been, you know, we, we accept you. And, um, and I didn't even think about it at the time. I remember in the prayer, I was saying to God, um, whatever you have for me, um, I'm willing to take it. Um, if you really give me a job, I'm going to give my life to you. Right? There's no peace of my life. It's going to be everything. And I want one that won't take me away from you. That when we reach certain heights, I forget about you. Or, you know, nothing like I want something that I can use that can be beneficial to not only me, but you know, anything that you have for me. And I remember even when I read the acceptance that it was saying. As a matter of fact, the person called me saying that um, before she can send the acceptance letter. She has to know which position I want or which one of these jobs has the two jobs they sent for me. And I was saying, my God, I don't know what to do. And she was saying, all right, well, she was saying, she said that, you know, one pay really well, better than the other one, but it look further. And one um, pay a little less, but you get the freedom to move around as you want. And I was saying, all right, let me, let me think about it. Let me come back to you. And I went back in prayer again and I said, God, you, you provide now, so you have to tell me which one to take. And he said, you know, when I got the answer to take the one that was less pay, I was a bit confused, but, you know, we, we, we still took it because you said, God, we're going to follow your directions. And, um, you know, I took it, and today that's the one that I'm still in. Come on. That's the one. Um, Bless your name, Jesus. That's the one that allowed me. Praise him. You know, when I, want, when I had to come back and forth those days, when I had to take, like, take flights and take drive all these different things. I had the opportunity not to you know, to take time off. I could just say, you know, let me rearrange my schedule and you're fine with it. Yeah, it was the one that, you know, allowed me to move out of the situation that I was in, the one that gave me the freedom. I just had to give God thanks to that. And, you know, through that one prayer, I really learned that prayer is truly a, an effective weapon in a situation. It's not something to take for granted. It's not something as, as deep and as the only when you're in a situation, you should pray. It should be one that, regardless of 
where the things good, where they live on the mountain, where they live in the valley, where they, where they have go up, where they have go down, you know. Amen. You look to God and you pray and you just leave everything to Him. And I, you know, as I, as I reflect now, I'm sorry, I hope I'm not taking up too much time, but you know, as, as I reflect now, I actually give God thanks because at that moment, um, there was a song I was listening to that I think it was Reckless Love that says, you know, I was his enemy. Um, at that point, I, I truly was his enemy. I wasn't thinking that much about him. I wasn't, you know, really, really, you know, looking for anything per se. But God saw, as I said, you know, the sincerity of the prayer. When even I didn't even think it was that sincere, I was in that category. Deep I was, I was in a, a rut, I was in a problem. So I might as well pray. But God saw that there was something in me. And you know, I just want to thank you to live him as as Pastor gave us those indicators. You know, I really want to start implementing them, especially the consistency part. That's the part where a lot of us always, myself included, we always feel from that part where you know everything else, the prayer might sound humble, mm. the prayer might be focused on God, but the consistency part is the part that you know always not be out. We always say, I think I heard Bandy say it, you know, sometimes we we got ahead of ourselves too much, we say. We wake up and we say, um, may I go be perfect today? And not you knowing, say, we have books on every burden for we head, and we just, you know, let it go and really, you know, let God do it. Whatever, you know, if we're going to be consistent, it's, it's a work, it's a heart, it's not something we can just say, something that, you know, if we put, you have to put effort into it. When we go to school, we study, because we want to pass the test them. Um, if you want to get some real reward, really, have to put some work in it. These are just my few words. Praise the Lord. 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 The administration. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise His holy name. Amen. I give God thanks that the anointing can grow for us. Yes, 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 yes. Go some deeper places, preacher. Amen. Yes, sir. Make some connections that we can't make. Amen. And we are forever grateful. Amen. So here I raise my Ebenezer. He the I go. And come, praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Yes, my Lord, you're buying up some things that we ourselves, amen, don't even know sometimes exists. Or we are, we are, we are, deacon, we're floating in the realm. Yes. Amen. And, and we can't pinpoint what's going on, but the anointing sees that. Yes, sir, he knows, he knows. And so we give God thanks. Can somebody praise God? Praise God. We've got a praise in his house. Amen. Praise him like in that town. Praise him. Give him praise in his house. Praise the Lord. Amen. Right before prayer break, we, um, two brethren, Sister Baxter spoke about her experience. Right before marriage, asking for a Gideon response. Come on. Yeah. Right yeah. Right yeah. Right yeah. Amen. After graduating from school, needed a breakthrough. I want the church and I want the youth who will listen to this. Whenever you listen to it. To listen to what he said. Yes. When he leaves school, he said, I want something that will lead me in my path to you. Praise the Lord. And will sustain me in you. Amen. Did you hear that part of it? It was a prayer of a sinner. Grew up in the church, migrated here. And he was thinking in getting a job. He took the one with the less pay. And you see, come on up. With a five years later, the band deacon. Yes, sir. He is now in church. Amen. Yes, Lord. And he's in the same job. Come on. Because God, that was an effective prayer. Yes, and a sincere prayer. He said, I will give my life to you. And I want something that will sustain me in you. And deacon it came to pass like that. When you're faithful to God, you're faithful to you. Amen. Praise him. Amen. And so I was touched by it. When I wrote you the next verse um, to share. Amen. And the final one, actually, before I go to the next question, I'm going to share. Um, you are. Praise the Lord. So, part B says, share an example where you were sincere, pray the Lord, answer your request. 
Praise is his holy name. Amen. Praise is his holy name. Praise Glory Lord. to God. Praise is his holy name. This lesson today, man, I'm telling you that it's like, like, like a wonderful lesson. Amen. That that loose and all the things, you know. Praise is his holy name. You know, as, as, as the shepherd of going to the points, you know, the points, you know, you know, I was writing down and right, you were writing down and I said, why something come at me, you know. I didn't even realize that there was, there was going to be a discussion because but when I look, I said, God Almighty, look at this. I remember, you know, when some situations arise and God needed my attention. Come on. So God had to move from things. And I tell you, it wasn't some things where people expect to move everywhere. Come on, sir. Because God. I tell you, man, move my people in my youth. Yes, my mother tell me, my father, my mother, me. My God. Come on, sir. I mean, I didn't even. I didn't even say to God Almighty, you know, why Lord? I call this man. I don't put him in front of God, you know, but this is the shepherd, and I, I need some strength. Come on. And the man here, big man crying, you know. And the big man was a hush. The man, the man started crying. You know. <laughs> God is great. God is, yes, the man, the man encouraged me in a way, way. I mean, understand the encouragement. But here's the point I want to push through now. What After that happened, you know, I come and I talk about it, right? And the same spirit. Yes. But listen to the point we are making. The point I'm making was that when the saints were praying, I was listening when the saints were praying on my behalf. Yes. Come on. And not focusing on God. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. So I believe in nothing that means still enough. Even though the, the, the saints were really fervent in their prayer. Yes. I wasn't even focusing on God at that time. I don't focus on the prayer me I get. I feel good about the prayer me I get. Hey, boy, what about you? Let me not tell you, man. Come on, man. So preacher here every time me, me, me really have to get down now, preacher. Preacher, I think it's serious. Come on, the church is right now, boy. Oh, there's a people that can't come out in the house here. Praise him. With you and your wife in the end of bread. Oh, God. That nothing. And the church said that. Come on, God have mercy. So, oh. so, brother, so, brother, go back, go back, go then. Glory to God. But preacher, come tell something, man. You see, on the day when the decision to make, and you see me like, you know, like, I'm going to go out of bread, you I let the point of power to push about the position in. It was not time to get up that time and go go in one kind of a prayer in that church, you know. Come on. In a in a in a in a in a in a place them. That that will provoke the people in. Come on, please. God, let me sit down right there, preacher. Listen to me. I don't hear one thing when he's saying, you know, Mister Preacher. I don't remember nothing when he said inside there. Preacher, I'm just a focus on God. I pray, I pray. At the first time, I'm a focus like that. You don't believe me. Pastor, they didn't never say Pastor, they didn't. Your wife was there. The children talk, everybody talk, and I just sit down there. And I just pray, I just say, I just knock out everything in the region, I zone in the region. I'm not telling the region. I'm not telling the man before the thing done in one. The same judge, you know. Come on, you say. The same judge will tell me, he said, I can't, you know. Oh, oh, let's see, man. So you see that that, that point drive when the point that drive to me to go out, God Almighty must stay focused on the Lord. Stay focused on the Lord and, and, and watch your post, watch your time because it's not a time to do certain things. If I get up, I'm gonna get up to a kind of my prayer in that courthouse. You know what happened? Come on, I'm preaching. We're not the child God content of it. <laughs> but God said, when said relax right the man and lock off everything right now, I'm not here, God deliver. And I give God that spirit to me. So this is a lesson that lose certain things and show me certain things. And, and, and I want to abide with it. Praise the Lord in here. Praise, praise, praise Him. Amen. Praise God. Praise, praise Him. Clap your hands, Saint. Yeah. Brethren, if I wasn't sitting there, I, you, I wouldn't get what he said. So probably you don't understand. Or you, you are probably distracted that you don't get what he just said. Come on. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Preacher, I was at the back of the court looking at him. I wondering that why this man not focused. What is he doing up there? And when I look, Reggie, yeah. I was so embarrassed. You know what I start to preach, I start to pray to. Yeah. I said, God, please do. Please do every prayer over that prayer. Preacher, all the people in my talk, he was just there praying through the whole thing. I thought to sit down like this. Man. You might think he's sleeping. But he was still lucky. I wonder what the man wanted to move like and I was praying, praying, praying. Oh, somebody watched it. I sat and I watched it. And I said, God, answer his word. I'm the minister. I should be the one like a, a, a intercede, not a pray. But he was there big and I was praying, 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 praying. I went to the other side and prayers got to a 
say, I don't buy, I don't buy. I, I, I don't think it's, it's whatever. But nevertheless, I'm going to go with what the, um, the suggestion made and I'm going to release the situation. Mr. God, you real. That one witness was called, that one, nothing happened. And bless the name of Jesus. When you become sincere, God open up doors. Amen, sir. What is it? When forgiveness is there, yes. God is a blessing. Praise his own name. His brother Roach there. It's his wife there. Come on, sir. Bridging and bridging and after they come out of that, but God bless them with a son. Bless the name of Jesus. Go through the wilderness and experience gain. And the virgin, you might not understand that struggle. But virgin, virgin, I am, I am saying, keep them in your prayers. Amen. God, God is indeed a deliverer. I give all, all, all honor to God. Yes, it's an experience I will never forget. Because yes, I sat and watched it. Really? What he's saying is he didn't diminish from it. He didn't style it up or he didn't um, use any euphemism. He just tell exactly what I'm virgin. Off of the man into the place. Virgin is liar. What's the liar? I want to buy him. Was sitting right here. I'm very rude. Pray through the whole thing. I was sitting there watching him myself. And all I said, God, do listen to the prayer. 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 I remember me saying that because he was praying literal, as he said. He sat there and he prayed through the whole thing. Yes, sir. Virgin, um, let us not diminish the power of effective prayer or sincere prayer. The effect of, sorry, sincere pride. Virgin, make sure your life match it up. Virgin Burr wrote, when he come here, he was told that he has to forgive. He was told that he has to, he has to maintain his duties as a husband and father. He couldn't give up on those things. We didn't tell him to go walk away. He had to, he had to, he had to man up and got up. He had to do all the things that he was, he, he vowed to do. Praise his holy name. And there is now with our family still together. God is great, my brother. Yeah. Clap your hands for the Lord. Yeah. Lord is wonderful. No, see, we have come past the boat with great cloud of witnesses. Praise God. We could, if we, if we start from where we right, we start if we, if we ask every member coming around yeah. and the line will be here till next year this time. Yeah. And I am telling my name. Yeah. I talk about them all the time, so I don't need to go back into them. You know that God is a deliverer. But in God have answered so many, so many prayers, so many um um it's it it I cannot start. It believe me. Um, um just keep listening, you'll hear them as we go along because it's too much. God has God is a prayer hearing God. And I'm gonna tell you sometime gonna answer the same time, but when he does, it, it fits. Praise his holy name, everything come together as it should. Question 2. How can one's prayer be effective? Verse done, 1 verse 9. Of young Mr. Campbell and Sister Fraser. And the other scripture is Mark eleven twenty four. Who's reading one? Sister Fraser, could you do the first one then? Alright. Mark eleven twenty-four. John 1 verse 9 says. If we confess our confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Sister Fraser, you know, um, how can our prayer be effective? Javan, could you read Mark eleven twenty four? Presumer <laughs> says, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye, ye desire when ye pray. Believe that ye receive them, and you shall have them. Sir, what um answer how can one's prayer be effective? Um believing. Believing. Believe that uh what you pray for you get. What is it, what did Mark say? Mark Mark said that believe that ye receive them and you shall She should believe, yes, that, that's correct. Prison. Exactly. So effectiveness is 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 help. When you understand who you are, you confess. That's one of the, the formulas for success. You confess before God. And the next thing is that, as you said, you have to exercise faith. Praise Him. It says, using the reflective technique, share the encounter you had that has helped you to be, a sincere, to be sincerer in prayer. Praise Him. 
share an encounter you had. I want you to reflect and share an encounter that you had that has helped you to be a sincere prayer. Brother Roach kind of did that. He had a situation that um, refocused him. Anybody have another um, beacon? Something that developed that help you to develop how you pray. Praise him, Deacon. Go ahead. Shall I praise God? Praise him. Shall I praise God? Praise him. Praise him. I remember as a child of God, I was going through some hard time, being a child wise. And I remember me and my wife and the boys and we were in the vehicle. And we in the vehicle is an E. But I pray. Like empty. empty. Yes, sir. I don't have no money to put, but I pray. And I remember I pulled up at the gas station at the pump and I pray. And the good Lord said to me, Look in the garbage pan. And I said, Look in the trash pan. <laughs> but I pray and I asked the Lord, and that's why he directed me to the trash. trash. The Lord directed me to the trash bin, but real testimony today. He said, look in the trash bin. Yes. And of you, man, I said, look in the trash bin, that's crazy. But you know, when I look in the trash bin, there was a $10 in the trash bin. Yes. Bless you. Yes. Yes. And I could go inside and purchase gas for the people. Yes. So, brother, I know what prayer can do, virtue. Yes. When I pray, brother, don't listen to me. When God directs you, yes. let me go be there. Yes. The guy already pray. And he's telling me what to do. I said, the Lord tell me. I said, I pull up at the pump virtue. No money. Fiat. But God tell me, said, look in the trash bin. And when I look in the trash bin, there was a ten dollar. And I take it up. Ten US. Yes, ten dollar US. Scavenging your blessings. Praise Bless the Lord, Richard. Praise the Lord. Anybody feel encouraged? Yeah. Everybody ready to go to the trash can? Come on, Jesus. Get filthy for Jesus. They miss it to the miss it to the very roach. Praise his holy name. Bless the Lord. Virgin, do you see that what was read in Mark and John that faith is critical? You have to read, you have, you have, you have after your prayer. Sometimes after the prayer and work to win them. Oh yes. So we pray and sit down. So we have a prayer spread out. Now we say, yes, God, sit down. Do something. So we dare that, we dare. And we just sit down and pray out. And, and, and the man said, check, check out the thing. Yeah. Me and man to dip in Jordan. Dip. And we are afraid of God's way. And what he's saying is that the, the car was an E and his wallet was an E. <laughs> Doubling. Double empty, man. I double double empty, no? I double eat at the preacher. That's a eat at the preacher, no? Preacher, the eye warm up work at the E. The E. The meter he drive me don't pass. Dig on me he like when he right. Just come on, it's all gonna run to the gas station. It means extra load. The lower lights are burning now. And he he put it to the right gas station. At the right pump. Breathe. Beside the right camp. Breathe. And he said, God, we need your assistance. So that's it provided. You don't know, understand that early on that day. Praise is only name. God saw somebody in the car. Two or two girls, but God already stick the ten dollar. Yes. You don't hear what I'm saying. Yes, I'm Jesus did it before. It was a quarter like a fish. Yes. Because in the fish, praise is only there. God provided the fish with a coin in it. Praise is only there to bring out his point to the disciples. And God, after ten dollar put down, so he directs you, put his GPS in you to the right gas station. Me thinks that that man have ten dollar all over the charger with it you. And the one gas station he have it put on. But if you be there to throw to the pump, if you go to your yard, you wouldn't get that blessing. You wouldn't have this testimony. But praise the soul in there. He drove to the pump and he said, God, I'm, exp I'm exercising faith and work. It's the work, you know, God. It's your time because I'm done. I just have nothing else. What is part E? Car part E? And the family's looking at me praying. I mean, my God. Will you answer me or will you leave me? God said, go to the trash can. The boys must be saying, Daddy, mine. Mine, mine, mine. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. in Jamaica, that's what we do when you're mad, right, Deacon? Yeah. yeah, man. But Deacon step by faith. And Bridget, it was at the bottom of the canal, Deacon. Oh. It was where you could see it. 
But you have to step to the camp. Well, I mean, the soul in there. And you just go there like I like I can't drop it by the mistake and just pick it up. And just go in there and say, Can I smoke it was from seven? Praise the soul. Praise the soul in there. Can I line seven? Can I seven? Bless you, preacher. Nika, I am so blessed. We couldn't end the lesson on that. That was such a powerful testimony. Yes, you yes. might want to reflect together. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. It's, it's open. The floor is open. You might just want to reflect. A situation that... So, Deacon, going forward, you know that you don't have to doubt because he's a provider. Yes, sir. He's able to take care. Praise him. Anybody else? Javan? Well, that's huh? Come to. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to hear this. Greetings. Greetings. Oh, um, I remember one of the times when... Um, my mom's boss fell. Um, she's like a, a grandmother to me. And when she fell, my heart dropped when I heard it. And somewhere I knew it was gonna be okay, but at the same time, I, I, didn't, I didn't know because of her old age and her falling into it's severe and everything. So that, that night, or that morning, I should say, um, I prayed. And when I prayed, um, I cried and I, I meant it. And I remember saying to the Lord, I'll do anything, just please let her live. And when, when I heard my mom tell me that she, that she, she can walk still and everything is fine, I, I was so happy and I rejoiced. And I, I just want to say one last thing before I sit down. Um, whenever the, the Lord is like your your prime instincts, and whenever you need Him, they come. They they come. He He's always gonna be there whenever you need Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Thank you, Javon, for sharing. It was indeed, I, I know I know what he's saying. It might sound trippy. I'll come to you next, Alexis, the first. I'll take those two hands. Um, but I, I, I experience what he's talking about. Um, when, you, when you wake up your children at midnight, 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning, I say, let's go, let's go. And I'm driving um, 100 miles an hour. In the, I, it, I'm driving because I'm trying to get you. Um, because all I got was a voice message and it was 40 minutes ago. And I know her. If she called me, she ain't calling 911. She, she called me. She called me and I'm like, if, she go, if she's still where she is, it's, it's bad. This lady's on blood thinners. Yeah. And I'm saying, if she fell, it's a person that she fell before. She called her son and just said, um, um, he says, um, are you busy? He said, "Yeah." He said, "She call me back when you, when you, when you, when you, when you can." And she's on the ground. Do you understand? So she ain't calling nobody, and I'm preaching. I'm, I'm going nuts. And when I went, she was laying on top of her head. Fell, fell down nine or ten flights of steps. And God will put that the part that her head land on is the only part of that step, the part that have a carpet on it. And so the carpet acted as a cushion against it. When I pick up, she said, There's, my water fell. And she didn't know that she was laying in her own blood. She thought it was just water. So she never panicked. She just laid there. Didn't panic. God. And Bridget, she said, just take me to bed because I'm fine. She's broken all over. But God has healed her that she's even better than before she got her. So I know what he's talking about. I watch them cry when they say we have to move them because they, they, you didn't know, I didn't know what I'm going to face down here. So I know what he, what he says he prayed was very rough. Amen. Amen. Brother, you said, wake up. Praise the Lord, church. Praise him. Praise the Lord, church. Praise him. Greetings in Jesus' name. Greetings. Um, an experience that I had was um, but when you brought up the uh, point where make sure your prayer uh, aligns with, with, with the will of God. Uh, about a year ago, I was speaking to Sister Cheryl that um, I was coming to Georgia for eight weeks, 
and I will be in church, and I felt sure of my promise, and didn't come to church. And I, in my mind, okay, after training, I'll move to Georgia, and start my life here. But then, once again, my promise did not align with what I said. So then I went back to New York, and working out of New York, and whatever the case may be. And in December, I knew I had to move this coming summer because I knew that um, my lease was gonna end in June, so I had to either stay in New York or find somewhere else to go. On January 2nd, no, January 1st, I prayed about it, and I just left it alone. January 2nd, I asked a sister in Jamaica to pray for I didn't tell her what specifically to pray for, but I said to pray for me. But in my mind, I was saying that pray for, I need pray for direction. I didn't tell her exactly what it was. And literally on January 3rd, it's like my life took like 180 and just flipped. And I was saying to myself, why, why did I ask this lady to pray for me and what did she pray exactly? <laughs> I was like, I shouldn't have done that. Because the life that I had, I was, I was comfortable with it. But then everything just like flipped and like, God was basically moving in my life, but initially I didn't see that God was moving. I just thought that everything was in shambles and just tumbling over. So then, I don't know why I had the thought, but I thought I was going to move to Washington, D.C., in the DMV area, in Maryland or somewhere. So I found this one apartment, but it wouldn't allow me to apply for residency until about 15 or 30 days, and I forgot what exactly it was. So every time I, I found the floor plan that I want, I found everything that I want, I knew where I wanted to be, I have everything set up to move to uh, Washington, D.C., and I prayed about it, and every time I prayed about it, I go went back to look on the website, it's not available, it's not available, it's not available. So then COVID happened, and I thought I was gonna lose my job, so I'm like, whoa. So I paid everything off, and I was like, hey, what am I gonna do now? But then the thought came back to me, the promise I told Sister show that I was gonna be here. The thought came back to me, what about Georgia? Uh, but in my mind, after telling Sister Cheryl moving back to New York, I, in my mind, I'm saying that I would never move to Georgia, I would never move to Atlanta, Atlanta's not for me, this, that, and the third. And then the thought came back, you know, what about Georgia? So then I looked and searched and fell in love with this one floor plan that I seen. I don't know why, I just fell in love with this one floor plan and I applied for it. It was ready to develop, I applied for it within two days. I got the approval that I basically moved to Georgia. That was not my plan, I have everything set up for DC, but my, initially my prayer was not in line with what God had planned for me, but then after having that person pray for me for direction and pray, coming back to myself and praying for myself for direction, I'm here where I am now, and I'm a resident of Georgia. It's even, it's, it's still so weird to say, because <laughs> I, a year ago I was saying that I would never ever live here. I can't oh my imagine God. myself living here. And a year later, here I am, where I am, because of the grace of God. So I ask you to pray for me, and ask God to continue my direction in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your testimony, man. Praise him. Praise him. God bless you. Praise him. Amen. Praise his holy name. The best in life. Praise God. Praise his name. Praise him. Praise him. I have so many moments that have really, um, so many encounters that, that encountered, encounters that have really taught me how to pray more sincere. I remember um, Brother Jonathan testifying the other day about when Janita was born. And, um, Brethren, as he mentioned, she was she was so weak, she wouldn't eat, and the nurse wasn't patient, and she kept telling me if she doesn't eat, they're going to put the feeding tube down oh, her nose. Oh, Jesus. And he went off to the bathroom to pray, but he didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> While I was standing there, brethren, by the incubator, I was just, I, I, I was trying myself, but I was so weak, like I was tired. And I was trying myself to help her to eat, and she wouldn't. And brethren, I just got so frustrated. And I said, God, I'm Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those were my words, brethren. 
When I uttered those words, the lady was walking in with the feeding tube in her hand and the baby started to eat. Praise him. Right at that moment. Brother, really? I'm, I just, I, that's all I, I said. God, I'm here with her eyes like I'm Jacob. And the baby started to suck. Brethren, and the lady walked through the door. And when she saw the baby drinking, she said, okay, I'm not going to do it now. And that night when the, 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 the shift changed, there was a nurse that was really patient with her that coaxed her and she continued to eat. And she never had that feeling too much. So that just taught me how to cry out to God. Come on, it's your word. In previous time of me, brethren, I just cried out and I just said what I know the scripture said. Praise his holy name. Amen. And God answered right there and then. So this, this is my moment of reflection. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands. Praise his holy name. Praise his name, saying, I am, I am, I am in awe of God. And brethren, um, I thank him that he, he answers in different ways. Yes. Sometimes, sir, is the, is the floor plan that matches <laughs> his plan. Praise his holy name. Amen. When I look at brother, brother, um, yeah. brother Riley, they're running over to Washington. Running they're running, praise his holy name. And God, God wanted you to be somewhere. Um, where he wants you to grow yes, and, to, and, 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 to, and to, to build yourself in him. Because he has good in you. Amen. Anybody hear me just say? Amen. Amen. And sometimes, when a preacher, you have so many distractions, so many things that you know. Sometimes you have to be in a position where, see, God had to take up Abraham Come on, out of his country, yes. from his kindred, yes. from, 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 from everything. And then he rearranged them. Praise his holy name. Praise and look at what Abram could do. Abram, Abram found everything in God. Amen. And he was able to chart our course that even now through his through to him, we're to through Christ though we are part of that seed. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. And so I give God thanks. Even um that prayer, Sister Fraser, God of Abram, Isaac. And Israel, praise his holy name. I need you to come through right now. And brethren, you know what happened? God came through. And you have that continued testimony. Husband didn't know what wife did. But there was a combination of prayer that collided right at God's throne. Praise his holy name. The father went to the bathroom and someone got in tears. Said, God, do that. Me tell me I'll be a look for something from you. And his wife was saying, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I need you right now. I need you right now. And brethren, both prayers came up and just fused before God. One accord. Praise his holy name. One place. And God just come and said, Janina, feed. Jesus. Look at Janina now. Praise beautiful, tall, bright in school, doing what she's supposed to do. Is a God wonderful thing? Isn't he awesome? And what Sister Sophia said at the end is that I am learning to that to how to cry out to God. Amen. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Amen. And what I'm saying also is that it's not every time you cry out. The, the, when we say sincerity doesn't mean that you cry out sometimes. Sometimes you're doing the regular thing. And if you pray, God will God can deliver and he will deliver. Yes. Praise his holy name. Yes. And sometimes it's a floor plan deliverance. Yes. Sometimes it's a cry out deliverance. Yes. But at the end of the day, God is the one that will come true. Thank you for sharing those wonderful experiences. Praise God. We praise his holy name. Yes. Praise his holy name. Um, Brother White, can you take one of these for me? Question 3. Why are we required to pray? Mark 10, 27, Hebrews 4, 15. Which one do you want? St. Mark 10, but I like to stay in that. Can I have a reader for Hebrews 4? Sister Dawson, you're taking Hebrews 4? All right. So, Brother White, go ahead with Mark 10, 27. St. So Mark 10, verse 27. And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impractical, but not with God. For with God, all things, all things are possible. Hebrews 4, 15. Hebrews 4, 15. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all point, points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Sister Dawson, why are we required to pray? Because we have a um, high priest 
who understands and is faithful to forgive. Praise him. Amen. We are we are required to pray because Christ can connect with our prayers. Yeah, my experience with things. Are... Christ can connect with what we are feeling because he was an high priest yes, who was who was touched with the feeling of our from anybody get that? Yes. yes. And brother, brother White, what you got in, in Mark here? Yes, Oftentimes, something happens. We check our brothers, we check our mother, we check our father, we check someone. With them, there's an element of humanity with them because they're human beings. But with God, you're tapping into the supernatural, you're tapping into the unending stream, you're tapping into a basket that can't run dry, you're tapping Sister Shakia into. Into amen, what the widow tapped into. Anybody get that? The, the, the meal now of the fear, the cruise of I cannot continue feeling pots. So that's what God is saying. When you tap into me, you're tapping into eternity, infinite, infinity. You're tapping into unbelievable um, growth. You're tapping into sustenance at your end. When you tap into your mother and your father, at some point, I'm on time. When you tap into me, but I'm not tired But when you tap into God, He knows what's best for you. Because He deals with the impossibility. Brethren, I've seen people sick. I've seen people get healed. I've experienced myself getting healed. Bless the name of the Lord. I've experienced, I've experienced people getting jobs. I've experienced people um, um, coming through, God coming through in school, in different things. I... Praise his holy name. I'm talking about personally things I've seen. I know that God is able. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm standing here because God is able. Amen. Praise his holy name. I'm standing here because God came through for me from birth to now. Because I wasn't supposed to be alive. But God spared me. Deacon, mm -hmm. like you come up beside the right drunk man, is the right nurse deliver me. Praise his holy name. We didn't give up. Praise his holy name. Amen. Coming right up to my, right up to know uh, Bridget, so many things that God has done. Yeah. Praise his holy name. And I give him, I give him thanks. I give him praise. With God, all things are possible. Possibility. Potential. And we, because of our lack of faith, we tap so much into our friends. We tap so much into what they can offer. And we forget that God is infinite in wisdom. So I'm encouraging the church. Pray more. Talk to him more. Walk and talk to him. Drive and talk to him. So that all things. You know, what's going on up there? Talk to God. When I'm driving, stop saying coming up. Talk to God, meditate. The day David said in the Psalm 19, 14. Yeah. He wants everything to be acceptable. Yeah. Meditation. It's a constant meditation. Yes. Sometimes preaching you have to be, you have to be praying, but be prayerful. Come on, come on. Don't just say that preacher. Yeah. So you know, sometimes you're not praying, but you live a prayerful life. So they say a man, if I might have the money for him or whatever, you can say, Lord, remember them. Yes, sir. Thank you for giving me shelter. But God, remember those who are shelterless. Uh, yeah. Have mercy upon them. Praise bless them so we can bless them. Yeah. But you believe a prayerful life. Yeah. Praise his holy name. Yeah. Give God praise in this house. Yeah. We are required to pray because with God all things are possible. Yes, and some of us pray with so much doubt. Yeah. So because our treat, they're like our treat myself. We don't believe in nothing what we say. Mm -hmm. Our dreams are crushed, so we believe that that dreams crushed too. Mm -hmm. Stop believing in God. Walk, walk with Him and, 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 and treat Him like Him a God. Praise Him, sir. Praise His holy name. Step into belief. I'm telling you, virgin, one of the problems that we have is that we don't understand how He works. And so, when, as I said, when we ask today, we treat God like a game the more we play. Choo, 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 choo. I go to the wind. And I said, God, um, heaven. When the result, you know, when the result. We're so result driven. 
You know, Mr. Preacher, we, we, we live in this thing where you click the button and it does happen. You press the garage, it go up. You press it, it come down. Press is all the name. You, you, you say, Siri, hey, Siri, ah. Uh. I'm not talking to you. She, 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 she answer me. You say, you say, you say, you say, nay, nee, Siri. Good. And she does, then they start to use, that's what we are used to. Here we know, hey, Siri, God. Um, uh, I need something from you, Lord. Like a wave. And God don't work like that. No. Sometimes we take a time because His will, His will is a process. God is a process God. God of mercy, God is a process God. Yes, sir. God tells Israel, sir, I am not giving you Canaan in a one go. Yeah, I'm going to give you a little by a little. He said, Lion, we eat to the little one. Lion, we eat to Because if you just run out and eat up, it doesn't land one time. What can happen is that the place become inhabited right. by people and animals take it over. So nobody will say, we're going to chop out one bush, I saw a snake over there, a lion and yeah. dragon. Dragon, yeah. Apparently, nobody, nobody really said, yeah. anybody, yeah. anybody, yeah. anybody, yeah. anybody really said, little by little. Yeah. I saw God work. We're going to we're going to try to pray a long time. Yeah. But God is giving you little yeah. by little. Yes, yes. amen. Yes, amen. Brethren, I, I was telling, I said it probably a year ago, maybe a little bit long. My daughter wants me to buy her a car. And I said, yes, I will. My son wants a car. And I said, yes, I will. Come on, sir. Anybody get the, get the gist of it? Yes, sir. Want to get it? Yes, sir. Anybody get what I just said? Yes, sir. My daughter. But guess what happened? She ain't getting no car till she reach the age where she can manage it. Come on, sir. <laughs> That's it. Amen. And that is the thing where someone will go up to God, God, I need a husband. God, I need a wife. Or God, I need a house. Or God. Why am I saying God like that? It's so sincere. So scamish. And guess what happened, Brother John? God knows that you are eight years away. Yeah. Jonah is eight years away. She really, she didn't got a license yet. <laughs> so buy a little one, a little convertible. Yeah. You can drive your feet, you better in the seat. You can practice and go around, but she can't go on the road with it. Oh, but you just want a blessing that you know. Oh. You, you can't just play with it. You can't go on the road with it. Oh, <laughs> can you not really feet yet? Oh Jesus, some of them are going to get to know some of your relationship you know, is just a thought that you got never going to be the rich of me right here. That's right. Preach I said, we're going to laugh. Everybody wake up. Everybody wake up. It's a relationship. Preach, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Preach, you want to have a little thought? Is a, and I'm not going to get the picture. I want to get a camera. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Preach, it is a convertible. She's going to go forward. Yeah. She's going back. I mean, we can have a, a, a drive around, even the neighborhood, but she cannot go on the road. Yes. And some of the blessings what God give us is just some times to keep you occupied till the time come when you can get the real thing. Amen. Amen. So we have put a line and we have good courage. Amen. And God is not sat and serving his promise. Yes. And some men come sat and yes. oppressing him. Yes. But it's faithful and true. Yes. Praise his holy name. Amen. So, pretty when you pray, we are the Lord and be a good courage as we are Amen. Amen. Praise His holy name. Some of us, we are so eager. We are so eager. But you, we want to own this, but we can't budget. Amen. God, I'm going to the bank today. Jesus, I'm, I'm coming to you right now. I'm going to take out the loan, Jesus. I'm going to go and check about touch the bank, tell the Lord. And when I go in there, she said, not yet. The woman said, God, God, I was praying this morning and I asked you, God, my woman, I'll give you two. The woman, I'll give you two. The woman, I'll give you two. The woman, I'll God, you never give it to me, Lord. I wonder what happened, Jesus. I'm, I mean, Lord, I'm living for I wonder what happened. I'm living for slam the desk and tell me no. And you know what, Jesus, I was just wondering what happened. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sister, anybody else get any other juice from it? Thank you, Sister Dave. Yeah. Anybody else get any juice from Ephesians 6? It says discuss briefly. Anybody else pick up anything out of that verse? Yeah. Brother Jada, see with the mic what you get. Make sure you find Ephesians 6, verse 18. I'm coming to Sister Rhonda. Ephesians 6, verse 18. What, what you get from it? It's saying, how do we pray effectively? I'll give you the indicators of sincerity. So, how do we pray effectively? And this verse have a bunch of things in it. So, Brother Jonathan says, pray in the Spirit. How do you pray in the Spirit? Anybody know how we pray in the Spirit? Does it mean you're praying in tongues? No, sir. So, what does it mean to pray in the Spirit? He said, pray as you're led. Let the Lord lead you. Pray with focus. Pray in the spirit. It means that, and every time you go to God, everything I just want like this. I want to super fill up space. If siren, siren. If everything you tend to go to God is something to fill space, shoes, dress, suit, house, car, picnic, anything that fills space. Sometimes talk to God about um, the things that will build you as a person. Yes, Amen. Those character traits that will help make you get into the kingdom and also make you be prosperous on this side of life. God teach me to be patient. And then when you do it, Lord, don't be afraid of it. It says perseverance, Lord. When God will bring you through the, the things that you need to develop patience, not say, what happened, Lord? When you start to sing and cry, why do I go to all of this? Did you say, Lord, teach me to be patient? No, I'm going to do your will. Sister Shaki, I'm not looking at you this way. <laughs> Lord, teach me to do your will. That doesn't that, sound like you, know. Lord, teach me to do thy will. I'm, I'm here. Lord, I'm available to you. Then the next day, God, take you up and say, okay, this is not work, I know. Why God, we can't manage this. I'm preaching, that's the problem we have. No perseverance. Yeah. We're not conditioned. We're weak. We're core weak. Yeah. And I'm afraid I don't know what I'm talking about. We're not doing no spiritual squats. No crunches. I feel a flow away. No crunches. No, no spiritual crunches. What yeah. exercise better? Yeah. Yeah. Where next one here? Sit ups. No leg raise. No sit ups. Yeah. So when the, when the thing come, we are weak. Back a struggle. Praise is all in him. But I don't bet it's we waist and weak. It's saying praying always. You know what always means? There's a consistency. With all prayer and supplication. Yes, sir. Go deep and I'm just talking. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, sometimes reach out to God. Yeah. After you pray, sometimes listen to man. God will chat to much sometimes. <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 25, 30, 5, 5 minutes without me having nice. Sometimes stop and listen to what God has said to me. Yeah. Have a conversation. You might have just had a good talk with Jesus. Yeah. I just see one more talk. You know what I got to do? You just show no God with a pure night. It's a monologue. Shut, shut. Talk, 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 talk. Sometimes stop. I just wait. Just wait. And sometimes that's a one word. Alright. One word word. Go. One word word. Stop. One word word. Hey. Some one word. Hello. Something. And you feel so good when I get up, feel like God says something. Praise his holy name. It says, and watching therefore. So you must watch and pray. So the way I pray, but we're not watching. We're not observing. We're not looking, preacher. Beyond, beyond what we say, I get up. I'm not walking our routine. It says, watching. You are unto with all perseverance and supplication from all saints. You know that prayer not for me so spell about you. Call the other preaching them near. Bridging to say, God, other people are going through things. I'm asking you, Lord, to touch them. God, touch your situation. God, um, any vent, but a phrase, lift him up, Lord. I got something on it. Mm, okay. Amen. Now you have developed the character trait of unselfishness. Mm -hmm. Now you're trying to push beyond, hey, it's not about you only, it's about 
um, the, other, the other person too. So we can pray effectively by following these things. Having a consistency kind of word, always suggest consistency. Um, applying the prayer. Bridget, when you read, when you read Matthew, you teach, you teach you how to pray to. Address God as God. Yes, yes, yes. You ask for forgiveness. You make your request. Things like that. You praise the soul in there. So we just jump in our prayer. Um, God, um, hello, um, I mean, no acknowledgement. No recognition that I'm reading your words and your words told me that you said this. Richard, God was going to destroy Israel. Moses said, um, hold on, Jesus. Hold on, hold on. If you do this, it's going to be like this. If you do this, it's going to be It's not like that. God, God understood. But Richard, sometimes you can, you can talk to God. I'm not saying it's always effective because um, the prophet did it. Ezekiah did it. In, in line on the things. Praise his holy name. So brethren, brother Aaron. No? Sister Tupper. Yes, you were you were you were supposed to give me something. What you got? You have something in your heart. You have something you wanna say. Yeah. Huh? Yeah man, on the scripture. Where you get where you juice to get out of it. Blend it up, blend it up, blend it up. from it is um, to pray in good times and bad and while you're praying to remember the brethren yes so that's what I got from we are so rough as Christians it's when things are not good <laughs> hey Jesus mm. I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just you just into God like, hey God, we just come to check in. Um, I'm your guy. I'm in this day. We just want things from preacher. Preacher, we don't want to go like we're mad. We are. We see the place so we are. We just kneel on. We don't have to pray like we are a pious over there. This is a prayer in prayer good times and in negative times. Amen. When the people have said negative things at your work, you grow up, you pray. When things rough up, when when your wife say a word, you're like, go pray. Yeah, yes, when things rough at church, pray. Amen. We always. And and some of us do that. We 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 rough it up in a phrase. We start to read two things now, so we start to pray. Can pastor say something now? We come pray. You say, oh, I increase God. <laughs> Trouble me, many of them that rise up again. Many of them be that self and soul. Yes, the man of my feet, Jesus. They said I'm gonna I'm gonna tread upon the start to read them out. All of a sudden, you couldn't say one verse, but you're full of them now. They start to preach that but Richard, could you pray for the person who says something against them? So God remember, remember, Pastor. Speaking that no man. God, sometimes when he talk, the words Rough. penetrate me. Yeah. God teach us, teach me how to answer. Reason, teach me how to. Wait, wait, say about it. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you? <laughs> words, the words. What are your words saying to me? Give me a set of scripture to me. Send something to me. Bridget, we, 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 Bridget, sister, and that's why we need to pray for the saints more. When you pray together, you stay together. Do you understand, Brother John, when I'm praying for you genuinely? When something come up, it's hard for me to just tear you down. Because I'm praying for you genuinely. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. We're talking. Praise him. When we not say, Lord, remember, remember, Lord, remember the brethren. When time so come now, I'm so far off. You're not close to me, I you're not you don't mean much to me. You're disposable. Pray for the saints. And when I was praying with Mother Singh as my prayer partner, and I remember the first one and I need them. And Bridget, when I listen to them, Bridget, Bridget, because she's coming from another church, you know, she remember them. Bridget, I know me, I pray for them. I said, I'm in them no name. Her, her other prayer partner, she said, no, 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 I don't pray one time. And Bridget, because Bridget, I didn't even understand 
Why do you know all this singing and scripture? Then the spirit of prayer, prayer time, we come and we say, Praise the Lord, bless you. I'm going to say, Praise the Lord, I'm going to say, What are you doing? I'm going to say, Praise God. Amen. It's time to pray. Yes. She's very polite. Then she just, you just start praying. I'm going to check it out, preacher. Preacher, the preacher, believe me. She said, Lord, remember Pastor, remember Jeff, and remember Joanna. I didn't even know the sister singing one of the people's name. <laughs> like the kids' name. Mm -hmm. Get the preacher. It means no, I'm invested in you. Yes. So know where you live, we know your name, we know your struggles we are going through. And I don't use it against you, I use it for you. Amen. So we will collect information. And we are said, why? I am not like me, not scared like Deacon. No, I'm not scared like Deacon. Instead of saying, God, touch Deacon life and do so and so. We pray against them. Amen. Time out, boy. So we pray effectively, brethren, by remembering the brethren. By the time I call the brethren near, invest in them. Brother, you know the line? Invest in them. Anybody get it? Invest in your brethren. Invest in your family. Dig to find something. When we say something positive. And there's good in everybody. So elevate them. Say, God, bring them up. Brethren, that is when your prayers start to get effective because now you care. It's coming from a place of purity. Amen. Praise his holy name. Bless the, Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 So, I have a question. Question. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So what would you say to one, praise the name of Jesus, um, that says, um, okay, I ask a prayer, but you don't know, pray for me as sincere as I pray for this one or that one. How do you handle a situation like that? Because um, I get your question. <laughs> That is where you have a lot of judging that happens. Because now we're going to judge sincerely. Based on loudness, based on length, based on um, how we feel. So I asked Vanjie Scott to pray for me. And then I'm going to say, Vanjie, when you pray for me, you were not as sincere as when you pray for Brother Jamal. So now I'm judging Vanjie Scott's heart. Come on, sir. I am taking the place of God Almighty. And if we are doing that, we need to stop. I'm judging his heart by saying that he's more sincere about Jamal than me. That's jealousy. Venom. That's a whole snake preacher. And we need to stop. Because now you put yourself lesser than Brother Jamal. And Brother Jamal is innocent in an affinity to and Vanjie, you are innocent because all of it is coming from me. So, Sister Dawson, a person that has that thought process has to start to look within themselves. It takes introspection. They have to start to look into themselves and start to say, why am I putting myself... Why, what, remember, what, remember we said somewhere we were teaching and we said, um, the word we, we were studying about, I said, what? it's not thinking... Thinking, humility. Uh, uh, this humility. It's not thinking. So no matter what, but thinking of yourself less. Yes. You get it? Yeah. It's not diminishing who you are, but thinking less times of yourself. And by what this person does, Sister Dawson, they have put themselves um, emotionally, physically, spiritually, whatever. Below to the point where it's not like that. It's a hum oh, humility below. It's a I am nothing. That person is better than me because so that because your prayer was more sincere towards them. So, preacher, you are putting yourself like God. So you can read bunch of mine, and that's inappropriate. That is not, and the prayer has failed because God can mix up in that. God can mix up in that. But the Jonathan, when, when me go, me go, me go, I am I am I am I am watching with a bated breath to, to find mistakes. Imagine Sister Shakira, they ask if you pray. Only then we say, um, you 
You said I are instead of I am. You want to work on the work on the English? Yeah, grandma. Come on. Then say the same person say um. You, you know, so sincere. So you're looking for the sincerity of the prayer versus versus. Look at that. Oh my God! I'm, I sound confused because it's a confusing question. It's a tough question. And I'm encouraging the saints to arise out of that. And the line arise out of that. Pastor and people arise out of that. Praise the Lord in him. You ever come on me and tell you that um, you were more sincere for so and so? Then why are they? Why? Why? That rough bridging. God wants me more than one. That's why I say that. You know what you can do? Never mind, read that. Virgin, no, 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 like someone. I find him a little bit bad. I find him born. Him born a night. Him, which I'm born, him born for this. Yes, he, he was born for it. And God, when God sent him to, to Jesse House, God have him line up and, and when some, someone else, someone else, mighty God, Shama look like it. Abinada look like it. Elijah look like it. And when, man, when God is a guy, say, you look on the outward appearance, but I, I God look at the heart. Stop trying to read people's mind. Amen. Bridget, I have become a better person, more relaxed person because I try and don't try to read. It's an ask all you're doing, and tell me, say, all right, guess what you do? You are okay. Amen. You are fine. Amen. I am not, I am preaching it, I am teaching it. The Holy Ghost have to end with the discerning. God have to tell me, say, the person that need whatever, yeah. and, 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 and I move from that. But when we come with my pastor self, I'm, I'm Mr. Self. I said, sir, I'm Mr. Brother Ben, how are you doing? I'm great. You are great. You're greater than America. You're awesome. <laughs> I am. You want to make America great again? You are greater than you are great. I am not trying to read who you are. But don't read. You see, you are. Stop your life by yourself. I want somebody to say, Mr. Preacher, pray for me. Preacher, I'm going to dig to see which word they did use. How much syllable they use. We you pray for more? You said 1,424 words for me, and you said 1,435 words for him. So you're more sincere with him. <laughs> How do you define that? So Sister Das has spoken a lot that she end up that. I'm not even going to pray like it. It's ridiculous. And we have to stop. The person who is saying it needs need to come up from where they are. Amen? Praise him. Praise him. But Vanjie, have your hand up. Please take a note after you finish talking. You can read it then to say everything in one. Because we're going to go next. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him again. Praise him. Praise God. Um, too often we are uneasy when we pray and our prayers are not being answered. Let us take some time to reflect on our lifestyle at home, school, work, play, and even when we are in the darkest of situations. Let us be reminded that no good thing will God withhold from us once it is in his will for us. We praise his name. Praise him. We praise him again. Praise him. Um, Psalm 66, 18, David say, For regard iniquity in my heart. The Lord will not hear. We, the church, um, has become a place, a very dressy place. We love dress. Yeah. I observe us. I see that we we would spend our last to dress and to look right. Amen, sir. And if we, on the other hand, spend so much time and say, God, just like go look in this mirror, let my heart look even better. We would be a better set of Christians. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Um, you cannot live like Jezebel and want Anna's response. No, sir. I will say it again. You cannot live like Jezebel and you want Anna or come. Mm. It's not gonna work. You have to live. Um, this, the note is saying you have to check your lifestyle. Because so many times our prayers become complete. When we go down instead of we, we, we give God thanks and make a request and then end with prayer, we, we, are, we are complaining our prayer. We bring in Sister Shiki and our prayer and say, God, if she come after me, she's younger. And we start to compare and look at the things that she possesses and all of these different things. But her lifestyle is different. Amen. Yeah. Praise his holy name. Amen. Bridget and I realize more and more um, it's, 
it's very hard to be a true child of God. Being a true child of God is not just words. Yeah. Praise is all in it. Praise him. To be a true child of God, preacher. Where when we stand up in here, so we are a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. It takes you off. What you, this week I received a call from another minister. And the man he asked him about the dust. Well blue. If you're there and all that. But then he said, Well, to the point. He said, oh, okay. <laughs> and he said some things, some rough things. And then in the end, I said, Me used to come tell the brethren here. The same Bible that we preach from him. Tell us to prove all things in him. Yeah. And you come with your accusation. Mm -hmm. And then you tell me, you tell the brethren, the Mr. Brethren, that's no wisdom you are, you are exercised right there. I'm not telling the brethren nothing. <laughs> and believe me, me if I jump around to tell him all some things to you, I wrote to him and I'm saying, you know what? I'm going to be a better person than this man because you come and you attack me. And you don't use no wisdom. And then you come tell me to tell the church things. You're going to mash up the church and cause confusion. Yes, sir. When most of the writers don't even know about it. And I said, man, you don't know, use no wisdom. You know? yes, sir. And believe me, when, when, the man, when the man gone preacher, and the, the whole thing ended up, I was at work and believe me, it bring a, it bring a sadness to know that, that a man like that, something like that, come from him in a preacher. I believe I was there. I'm just so sad, sister man. I'm just, I'm just not feel right. I'm just saying, God. All that time, Satan and Satan tell him that I'm here for review. And in the midst of it, sister Satan called me. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, God, you really, really remember me, you know? Because preacher, some, some of us, some of us, we were mindset bridging towards one another, and all right. That's right, sir. And sometimes we, 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 we worship and trash you know? Right, sir. But the way I think about you, preacher, <laughs> even sometimes we don't say them, but over time, and sometimes, preacher, I, I'm not coming to say directly to you when I tell the road. And I tell sister you and I go on and tell everybody else. Come on, sir. But the person, and that is why when you pray, you make nice. Praise is only near. Also, by the worship God. And then we want everybody to assume that, oh, I am anointed. It don't work like that. You are hypocritical if you ask me. And Bridget, is many things I wrote to them down this morning, preacher. You said some of them in your comment. Many different reasons why our prayers are not answered, brother. Because it's, if we don't feel all right inside about each other, preacher, we are making nice. Praise his holy name. Amen. Oh, praise his holy name. Amen. And so, preacher, believe me, you know what? Sometimes, preacher, like Monday, I had an experience. I shared on the line where I prayed with my prayer partner. And was there, and after the whole thing, preacher, you have a lamp to sincere. Amen. And you have a lamp to connect. No, no. no. And preacher, I was there, and I get just to go work. And I was the only one there at the time. And believe me, I reflect, reflect and pray. I know how, how important prayer is in a believer life. Preach a prayer is like the breath of your breath. Mm. Some of us can't swim under water and if you go under there too long, preach, you're running out of breath. If you're not praying, and not just praying, but praying sincerely, you are dying. Jesus. And preach up. The Lord said, pray again. And preach, I took the time out. I mean, if I just pray, I just beat up myself. Oh, Bridget Jesus. McCarthy, Bridget, them name. God of mercy. And Bridget, when we're done. Bridging God not easy, you know. God delayed me because the enemy didn't have a plan for me. Preacher, I drove into a storm. Uh -huh. It's like the lightning in my touch of ground. I, I don't understand. Yes. And preacher, you know what happened? When I slowed down because I saw what, that the road become chaotic. And I slowed down. I pressed my forehead, slash the arm, and slowed down. When I'm looking at my rear view mirror, I'm gonna come. I'm, I'm gonna come nuts, preacher. I forerunner, I come down the road and Bridget, the man just the man just start tearing up things and the man Bridget just said Jesus and the man passed me. God allowed him to pass me. Mm. And a, a vehicle was like couple chains ahead and Bridget he just tear it up. Oh, and there was just every, there was just everywhere over the road preacher. And when I looked, it was a DOT vehicle the man hit him. Wow. A government something that 
I pray that the man ran off in a trench and then went. I, I think when he saw that it was a government vehicle, now he was trying to escape from 285 to go on 78. Yeah. It was just chaotic. And when I passed there, the Lord said, That is why, Mr. Pray. Jesus. Praise his holy name. Hey. Brethren, let me tell you something. The coverage of God can't really be over us if we don't feel good right in us about one another. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Nobody can heal. Sister, she gave me a thing. Free you in my heart. I sometimes wonder if we think that God is foolishness. Yeah. Mm. Preacher, if, if, if I, some of us don't have the time that Sister Mary and Sister Singh have to pray because they are retired people. They don't work. So they can talk to God all day. But preacher, I believe that the more you pray, the better you should be. Yes, man. Otherwise, you can't stop. Freer. You should be freer. That's what I believe. If you are worried about you say, want to lose it, I know this, like why? You, you, are get, you are get more huge. Yes. Something is wrong. wrong. And preachers, some of us apply the wrong things because we are wrong, yes, but we still are eating one chicken. Yes. So you don't change all you eat, and then we run. I'm going to say, oh Lord, but this now, yes. the card you are called, yes. it's not reaching me. And as a preacher, Prayer okay. is not a game. No. I rather preach like you see if the fast and preach as close as two hundred bit to me preacher. If I don't have to tell you if you preacher will know. Because we sit and eat at the same table. So if you, you don't see me there, you know like 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 um Saul when it's when it's a day with the second day, it knows there's something wrong. <laughs> but preacher, if it's not just to come up and boy, I'm a done seven seven. Because some of us talk, we shouldn't talk, we should like keep it quiet because God. nothing change. Shame, shame. Prayer must, must, when they apply prayer, something must change. Yes, amen, amen. Praise is only name. Yes, oh, praise is only name. Yes. And so, preacher, I look and I say, God, may the good Lord help the preacher. Your mother called me two weeks ago and we go, and she encouraged me. Praise him. Out of the blue. She called me and she encouraged me. Preacher, you know what? Make give God thanks for the things that I'm going to go through. Yes, man. Because you see, if I don't go through anything, I'm not that lying. Come on, man. So don't get discouraged for what you go through. But if the, the note is saying, if our prayers are not being answered, check your life all around. Anybody know that you're a Christian at work? Amen. Come on, sir. Come on, Your neighbor, note say you're a Christian. Amen. Your boss don't say you're a Christian. Amen. Come on. Are you respectful to mother, father, husband, wife, whomever? Yeah. Preacher, I don't want to make prayer answer. And sometimes, preacher, some people pray, and when you don't want to pray, you want to pray in secret from them. Because when them don't preacher, you, you, you don't want to pray outwardly again because it's like them things swallow up like Jonah. Hmm. But preacher, God no not want to pray this country. Yeah. If our heart is not right with one another, you're beating the ear. God bless you. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord, man. Praise the Lord, man. Worship the Lord. Amen. Question 5 says to describe the sincerity of David's prayer. Psalm 51. We're not going to read it. What I want is for you, like Sister Shakia, Brother Jaded, but um, pick a verse. That tells you that made you think that David pick something out of it that made you think. Manax, Husseini, Javan, Amen, Sister Shakia. Give me something from it that made you think. David, just read the verse that made you think is earn is is earnest or sincere. And tell me, you tell me what in the verse said. Read the verse, Psalm 51. Read the verse that tells that tells me. While you're looking for the verse, but right, I'll take your, your comment. While while you're looking for it, I'm gonna take one from the Miles, Brother Ellis, um, Brother Jaden. Yes, sir. Uh, praise the Lord. How are you doing? Um, greetings again in Jesus' name. Greetings. So this question is from online. Uh, so they said, what if you ask a prayer from different brethren at different locations, and the answer different, differ from one another? Um, one said yes, and the other said no. What should a Christian do at that time? Wow. We like that question. The young people are looking. 
So, so you you send you you send. <laughs> Oh no, we're ready for that. Yet. I'm coming for that. Um, can we get to the question, sir? Yes, sir. So somebody asked me from different sir, different assemblies, for example. Go with that preacher. Go with that preacher. I say yes. And then another man said, not yet. I like it. So anybody want to respond? I'm going to open the floor. Anybody want to respond? Just a phrase, sir. What you got? Who should you go with? The yes or the no? I like more of this one. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. We should go with you. Bless the Lord. All right. Um, scripture says that is not a man that he should lie. Right. And, um, he doesn't okay. contradict himself. Right. And so he's not going to tell one and tell one yes and the other one no. So my suggestion to that person is go see God for yourself. Come on now. Okay now. So remember now, the answer is, is either yes or no. One say yes and one no, so one right. But how are you going to find, how are you going to know? So she's saying go back and see God for yourself. So, so, okay. Alright, I like that. So that's one answer. Anybody have another answer? Deacon, what you got? So Deacon, I'm like when Deacon make a big eyebrow. Engine working in his brain. Deacon, what you got, Deacon? One say yes, one say no. So the first I say go back to God. Well, I just say one say yes, one say no. But it's all about where the answer fall. That's fine, that's fine. You see, by the time the prophet come to David and tell him, say, what be the temple? Mm -hmm. And that was. And then we we'll come back again. So one answer was yes. Wow. He can't do it. And then man see him and we come back again and say, no, you can't. What blood of my hand. Mm. So sometimes I was saying it's all about where the answer, uh, they can answer to they say yes. Okay? And tomorrow, I next person, yeah, I next person up here. I said, no. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So I'm saying it's all about we we had answer for it. the last the last and the last the last answer that you can you can go the last answer <laughs> the last answer <laughs> five, somebody come cross and say yes oh okay and you have two somebody yeah. and he said two and that somebody comes say yes I said because it just like it just like Gideon you know? you understand me Lord do this. Okay? And the answer, come and say yes. Okay? That's the first answer. But you want to make sure again. It's a lot of you. Give me the next answer. Show me the next thing and the next answer now. Then the last answer I'm going. I said it's sign now. So the most last one I could go to the first one. Let's use the one I want to go first from the first one. And let's set the first one in mind. Oh, Jesus. Why? You're rough, you're rough. This one is rough enough? Anybody? You want to see preacher? All right. The person of our addition. Should we ask that for a question first? No, no, yes. no. Yes. All right, go ahead, go ahead, brother. All right. So, praise the Lord again. So they said, um, so I guess based on my sister Sophie, they said, but if they see God themselves, they don't get an answer. So. Then we're going to see that and then we get them. Please don't go to the witch of the end word. But put your head up. We praise him? Praise him. Alright. It's kind of rough, but my glance are still. Um, you have hair. Oh, Jesus. And, um,. All the four hundred say, boy, go pop. <laughs> and Micaiah, they say, go on here from somebody else. And the Bible says, Micaiah, they say to Micaiah, they say to him, hey, everybody say, X, so you should say the same. Micaiah gave them an answer in sarcasm and then they say, system not like him because whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, the real answer came. He said, I saw heaven open, 
and the Lord asks, who will go? One step forward and say, I will go. So what will you go and do? Be a I will be a lion spirit in the mode of his prophets. In the mode of the prophets. Let me show you something. I'm going to be honest with you. Some things that you need it, don't say it openly. You know, I agree with me. You can have a one person that you can find and answer pray. But most times, if you throw it out there, that's the confusion. Because yes, some people are going to give you an answer when I have no life with God, no connection with God. And they will confuse you. Yes, but not very good. Mm. Um, preacher, you know, this scripture, let me tremble in You know why? You have so many who want to prophesy about their life wasn't at the place. Oh, Jesus. So the spirit said, I go go. Where you go and go? I will be a lying spirit. Yeah. In other mouth. Yeah. You see, if you're, not, if, if you're not available for the anointing to speak to you, oh, Satan from the pit of hell will oh, prophesy to you. Yeah. Praise his holy name. Right and so, preacher, um, the God, God is not the heart of confusion. No, the church can't say yesterday yes, and tomorrow the church say no. no. God don't work like that. No. But they make it more difficult now because I'm going to it and say, ah, we can't get my call and God now pick up. Draw closer. Evaluate. Preacher, I really believe if you're not blaspheming against the spirit of God and I hope the person is listening, you can receive an answer. Sometimes that's a trick from the pit of hell. We believe for everybody else. But we can't believe for ourselves. Mm. You were at a point in your life when you were hearing from God. I know you're not hearing anymore. Yes, like Saul, so run. When Saul was hearing from God, you know, yes, the witch of run way, you know. Yes, and then Saul reached to a place where he had to go back to the same witch. Yes, when Saul was supposed to be king, uh -huh. the man said, We're not going to salute him. Them some people kill themselves and say, hold on, nobody is not dead today. That was when the Spirit of God was hit. So preacher, that person you have to check. Because sometimes you are at a place where you're used to hear. And you're not hearing anymore. It, it, it's sad, Bridget, if any one of us sitting right here. You need a word, Brother Aaron. And you need one from Sister Yui. You need one from Pastor because you're not hearing nothing. That's serious. And before you get any word, you need to repent. Yes. Praise his name. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the comments. Um, I will also add as, as um, um, so we're, we're leaning, we're leaning more in, instead of choosing one of the answers. I would just make sure that it matches with the word of God. At one of the point of what Sister Sophie says, God does not lie. So if His word sometimes speaks to the situation, but we're because sometimes we don't want that answer. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes we don't want that, but sometimes you have to match up with them and say with the words. You have to listen to the entire conversation. Sometimes people are coming to you with what they think versus what. You have to match it up with the words of God. If a person come to me, so I, and I know some situations you might say it's not explicitly stated in the word, but His will for you is stated in the word. Mm -hmm. And and if it's something that's gonna pull you away from it, I would err on the side of caution. And I'm saying, seek the Lord. Everybody here. Samuel could have heard God's voice. God could have called someone and talked to someone who was a child. Yes. And you're a child of God and God not, not, not said unto you. Yes. So what I'm saying is that you need to come up to a higher place. Come up higher. Yes. Come up higher. Yes. But if you ask God something, and I'm going to tell you, all the people that we are seeking relationship, yes. if one day the word, you two. Do the word the tree. You still can't feel to seven. My God. But God said yes. Make him put the power billboard. Make him fly power plane. Put the name on the back. Praise him. Praise him. So when we going on, go say, but brother Fraser, when you check out, you know that you know that you know that brother Fraser like you. And you say brother Fraser, you can pray about me and Janita. Yes. Janita, tell the truth, no. You can't, you can't pray about me and <laughs> you can't pray about me and Jenny that sir because you know I I you have been nice and everything and better for his reflex. You know what I said? God is good man, not true man. Yes, yes man. Every prayer I've ever seen him. Come on, I'm preaching. Yes. <laughs> Come on, I mean. I'm talking about preacher. We are general. We try general God. Yeah. 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 Ye
And I'm talking to the person who asks the question, it's a million dollar question this. Yeah. I want you to resolve. You ask him yeah. one, I ask him the other. Come on. Yes, so why want to you? You can't ask that something. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, especially in relationship, please make that talk to yourself. Yeah. I'm going to remember when the thing mash up on you say, I didn't check Banji and Banji, they say, and I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to go to the Banji and say, I'm going to
should I make? Glory to God. What shall I do? I'm going to wait for a blessing from you. Oh, bless me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're preaching on a person here. God, God, we God, we know why you got up and said, God, you know what? You will look immediate situation. I'm a burning you, look. Got to be today. The boss don't tell me, say, boy, I'm here for marriage, so it's gonna be this. This. Come on now. Um, everybody has said, boy, I'm not come to nothing. It must be this business. No. I'm gonna wait for an answer from you. Because I know you will come true. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Praise him. So, Virgil, let me wait on the Lord. Praise his holy name. Worship and wait. Praise his holy name. Praise Praise is on them. That was a great question from the line. It was ex excellent question. Amen. Whoever, whoever attended, thank you for sending that. There's so many young people in Mount Zion, yes, in the sir. church of God, yes, who get those two do that follow. One say yes and one say no. You understand what I mean, preacher? And then I see so many young people that is ruined. Ruin. Because other people who, never, who, who, who just look at the situation and say, this is a no-brainer. They're not going to ask God nothing. You know. It's a no-brainer. I'll come back to you. Yes, sir. Nobody now see God. Mm -hmm. What can I see in the end of Spiritual. Come, then, come, you mad man. Mm -hmm. Reggie, yeah, Metro, no, you have a connection with God. You're a Christian. Yeah, you you are a Christian. No pastor is absolute. Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. And Reggie, I'm saying these things because I believe them. Yes. Some of you look to the pastor too much. Thank you, Jesus. And the answer, Lord. Because some of the people look at the pastor like, like he's in place of the Lord. The pastor some of them don't know nothing. Come on, sir. Some of us don't know not, don't know anything. We don't have no connection. We don't, we don't think we only can. That's it. That's it. Praise his holy name. Bridget, who are you asking these questions? Who are the people you're asking this? Is? What is the what is the criteria to ask them? Yes. But you're telling me you encourage me every day. You encourage me every day. Pastor, nobody could be business enough. Pastor, you can't invest in a preacher. Pastor, you, have to, you can't invest in a preacher. They will come to your brother John when you pray about that investment. Oh, no, man. You're going to tell me yes. Tell me not to be yes. Pastor, you yes, have you, been yes, getting me going at this thing. Then you come and say, John, when you pray about that investment, then, because. I'm seeking the Lord. He said, I'll pray, me pray, preacher. God said, why God, thank you, Jesus. I've been, I've been talking to pastor all these years. And, and thank you, Lord, you come true. The prince of the poor of the air tried to stop it. But no, you come. Pastor, I'll be getting a word, you know. Get a word. He said, yes. God, we we can't in, in, in bind up the prince of the poor. Right. The, prince, the prince of the poor bind him. Sign, just sign in here. Go to him. Me, I do some research. Here, some documents are signed. I want to check it out, Peter. What did they talk about? Backside. You <laughs> talk about him in a church again. I go my church, boy. I love my job. I don't know who makes me. Can we move on? Yes, Peter. I'm coming to the young people. Can you have your first one? Praise him, praise him. Praise him. You have your first string? Praise him. Let me greet the sound school. Um, as Pastor was making this point, it is it is very crucial that we we really take heed. Those online take heed. Yes, I'm telling you, because that's over again. Tell you, we flowered at one time. Our symbol was so furnished with young people. <laughs> and when I talk about solid young people. Or solid. And well then the, the, the devil be guy. And let me tell you something for those start stand and listen to me very carefully. Open a year. Do not be hasty in your spirit for things. God, if, you're in, if you're in God's stead and God's will, God will provide in his timing. Praise him. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. But I when really you wait upon God, you miss out not my brother. Praise him. Listen to me. And they were so eager to get married, sir. And they tell the world where they can. <laughs> to pray for them, to see the Lord for them. And people are come back to them, dream to them, and dress them, dream to them, and blue. Right. Them dream to them, and white. Right. Them see the ring, them see which part the ring, buy them, see which part the receipt. Okay. And let me tell you something, preacher. Listen to me. 
Right for the when when the murder and, and, and the, the heat gone, Sister Mans, oh, man, no. uh, that marriage take them out of church. Praise his holy name. Bless your holy name. Praise his holy name. It's time for the church to come up to a place where God can talk to you. Praise his holy name. We're not saying that you cannot ask people to pray, but do not feed them with information. Feed God with information so he can translate it to his people. Praise his holy name. Because right now I'm telling you, the marriage there, they're on the rock. One is not married anymore. Lord. The person that encouraged them. Having a, having a child with the husband. Tie up, tie up. They tie up. They tie up and nothing but confusion. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Church of the living God. I'm telling you, every time these points come up, not long after something follow. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Bless your holy name, Holy Ghost. Praise his holy name. Not long after, something will follow. I'm saying to those out there, Sister Randa, all of us, see the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. Praise his holy name. If you are for God, God is leading your life. And God don't lead with an arrow. No, never will. I'm telling you that. When God leads you, but then it's gonna come with, with with like you're going through a maze, but at the end, it's still a blessing. Amen. Praise his holy name. At the end, it's still a blessing. Preacher, you listen to me? Amen. At the end, it's a blessing. Amen. See the Lord, put your put yourself at the altar to hear from God. Because you know we have some we have these prophets that used to hear from God. Come on, come on, and they're not hearing from God anymore. Praise his holy name. And they run and God didn't send them. Come on, praise his holy name. They speak and God didn't give them utterance. Praise his holy name. Glory to God. Praise his holy name. And I'm saying, listen. The person that is online, you the, the first thing you need to do is get yourself in line. Get in line with God. To set thus set the living God. Yes, sir. And it's when God works like that, brother. Praise his holy name. There's no confusion. There, there, there's nothing there. There's no equal or prosperous relationships in the church. Come on, sir. Amen. And before I turn my seat, I want to stand up again. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, my dad called me, left a voice message. We're talking about the effectiveness and sincere prayer, right? Amen. And um, he said to me, he called me, come on, still. Because to me, I'm still his boy. That's what he said sometimes, boy. You know, that's my dad. And um, he said, son, happy Father's Day. That's what he said. I'm telling you just as how it is. Yes, ma'am. And so I sent back a voicemail. And I said, Dad, you know we don't celebrate. I don't know if the church still do that because a lot of people are in that thing. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Uh, but I love where we are now. Come on. Praise the Lord. Bless your holy name. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. And if you know the relationship when you thought deacon it was rough. Come on. We jump in for a night in and 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 the night and say you need to forgive. Yeah. Praise his holy name. Amen. Church of the living God, there, there's some, some some relationship that need to be addressed for prayer to be effective. Yeah. Amen. Praise mm. Amen. 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 Bless your name, Holy Ghost. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Your mother and feel alright, I feel so right. Praise him. But I earn the same thing for you, sir. The Bible said the foolishness, I'm gonna keep quoting it. Of God is wiser than man, and the weakness of God is stronger than man. Praise is only a prayer warrior of God. Some relationship, Sister Miles, is not so comfortable and as, as a result, mighty 
God. God is not here with us. Paul said, You don't want to preach in others. And he sent me a cast away. Bless your holy name. I said, When, when, when my dad sent the first man, but he didn't melt me, Pastor. I'm very full of it, melt me. Mighty deliverer. So my needs are to write around us, you see me. Mm. When I write with, with, with the mother and father preacher, mm. things were clear because when the dark world will happen, we, it, 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 it's still, it's still, all it goes, it still brings a itch. Every time we, we hear something, the wound, in a, in a heal properly, yeah. you know, the mind Praise his holy name. Amen, sir. You have to lose yourself. You 
have to fast and pray and, and talk. Yes. Because we want to go to God and leave the source right here. Hey. Mm. Praise him. And that is why you see sickness linger around us so much. Stress. Mm. Preacher, because we're not clear. Mm. I'm telling you, last Sunday, we, that Praise stuff him. has been on my mind all week. Amen. Mm. Praise, Praise him. him. He says, son, I love and appreciate you. And the man that you have become. And I could say about the same thing. Preach and feel free. Amen. The man that I preach and I tell you, when, when, I, when I was going to school, preach and preach and I have a bag, I have a chance for it. And I have, I have a thing in my bag. That's how serious I was. I'm a full pastor that if you, if you talk to me this morning, they're going to come and pick you up on the ground. And my stepmom called me the morning and said, hey, don't get yourself in a trouble. I'm showing you the level I hear you that have. Praise his holy name. Come on, man. Praise his holy name. Praise Praise holy name. 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 Help somebody. Help somebody. Come on, sir. Can you be effective? Can you be sincere to let go to overcome? Van, you preach it. I hear no man who I'm going preach the same thing. Mm. You can't be effective unless you're clear. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. That is the message for the church. I'm telling you, we teach prophecy, all of these different things. Mm -hmm. We cannot be effective until we are clear. Amen. Amen. And that's it. Praise the Lord. 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 The objective of the, the primary aim of this lesson is to educate members on the effectiveness of sincere prayer amen, amen. and the need to exercise faith. One of the indicators of sincerity is when you there's a precursor of forgiveness. If you, if you can't forgive, if you're not clear, you're wasting your time. I, 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 I saw a brother phrase that come here in tarry, in tarry, in tarry. And then I can tell him, say, he must, be, he must be forgive. He must be forgive. Amen. I watch him go out the door. And I'm just a preacher. The man take up the phone. And that's where the relationship started. With his father. Coming back and bless him. And when he coming back, he come back and tarry again. He was in the three, four bells in the morning. That all that prayer meeting, the man come up in there at night. That's 25 a.m. How much? We we'll start tarrying at three for them. Yeah, but they come up with yeah, that. Second yeah, yeah, second, yes. I was there watching the whole thing. I mean, I said, God, forgiveness can be so powerful. Yeah, and he's still preaching the same thing. If, if you, if, if you, if you want, if, but at least if you, if you want to get to the next stage of your life, every, all the people who heard you before, you have to step, you have to get, you have to get over those elements. You have to get over it. All the negativity, all the something that people prophesy, I said it this morning that God can change the decree when people make over your life. So you have to come with like, I am a different person. I'm a brand new creature. I'm a brand new man. I, I am going to overcome. I'm going to overcome by the power of the Lamb. And you have, you, have, you have to confront them and say, look here, you hurt me, but I want to be saved. This is bigger than me, how I feel. I want to be saved. I don't want you to be saved. We got to get over this. You know, and talk about it, have that conversation and elevate yourself out of that mess. And then we draw everybody through this mud every day. We come back with the same Holy thing. Can't, can't elevate. Jesus. I wonder why we not grow. We have too much things in our back up. Praise his holy name. Amen. Preacher, preacher, um, brother John, brother John, the Lord bring me a thing. Be believe me, I don't know if it was in the dream or I was awake, but, that, but this morning, preacher, he brought me back. But you know, I've been working. I've been working in, in my garage for like um a while. And last week, preacher, it, everything was in order. It looked great. And then this week, I look preacher, the car couldn't park in there. And I was wondering why is why Mister God all comes. Virgin, I have an inner closet. There's an inner storeroom in there that have things packed from the bottom to the top. You, the door just closed. There's nothing else that could go in there. But I generally know my garage, it is, it is, it is high, it is high like, probably like in here, or higher. 
And from the top to the bottom, the two sides, everything, everything is stuck in there. And the door, if you open the door, everything just come fine. I mean, one can, I mean, I mean, focus on it. And I'm telling you, Bridget, when I cleaned the out, the, the power of the car parking, it was nice. But I remember that there are some other things in that closet that need to come out. They want me to do this week, I said. The facade, it looks good. Yes, sir. But you see, in the closet, some whole lot things in there. Awesome. And Bridget, yeah, yeah, Bridget, yeah. every day I'm walking around and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking no, 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 I'm just talking about like male from like here with a name and it, you know, what people, you know, yes, whatever, you have all kind of things. Mm -hmm. And Bridget, I've been burning and getting things. And when, I'm, when I go in there, Bridget, I'm going to pull out the things. I said, God have mercy. Bridget, but now the closet is clean. Yes. Everything is in the open now. Yes. And I felt much better. I was saying, oh my God. I felt better. No. Then when outside was clean and inside was dirty. Yes. We, have, we have a lot of things pack up in our yes. subconscious. Yes. In, our, in, our, in our closet. Yes. And it prevents us from growing spiritually. Yes. Every time we get to a certain stage, we cut off. Oh, we, have a, we, have, we have some closet where we're tight. We pack from top to bottom. And the annoying thing is said, you see, well, look at the tongues it got to. But you see, we are that English people, some people don't believe. We're not going to go nowhere until we clean out the class in them. Come on, sir. Amen. Praise it. And we could have come and people love the worship, love the whatever. But you just another level of God over. Amen. Praise it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But if we can, if we do one step forward, then we back at Jackson. I would do one step forward. I went James Brown. Back say better. We ain't gonna reach nowhere. Today is a day of reckoning. Let us go and dig down into our subconscious. God, why am I not? Why not hearing from you? What can I do? How we can get out these things? Give me the words to overcome. Give me the words to, to push beyond this. Thank you, Brother Fraser. It is where we sit. Reggie, take it. If you're on the line, take it. If you're in the house, take it. If you're, in, I don't care where you are, take it. Because this, this is, this is a direct word from pastor and people. Yes. Get, get in your subconscious. Yes. Get in your things. Reggie, you have some people. Reggie, you're gonna talk. Reggie, you can go and talk. I'm gonna say the same thing to you. You can go and do whatever you like. Amen. 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 No forgiveness. No kingdom. 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 Yeah, Mighty bless your name. Mighty. No change. No reward. Yeah, and you're going gonna to walk around, you know, you're going to go on a 40 year journey. Somebody today is going to start your 40 year journey. Circles. I'm telling you, you're gonna, yeah. it's a phrase that, you're, that read me, follow me now. We say you have somebody today who has got their 40 year journey. Right now in the wilderness. And you'll see probably said I can't get to that because you decide right now. You have consciously decided by the power of the world because you're not changed. Mm -hmm. Come on, God. You have a because you decide right now, so you're not changed. Jesus, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. The person who just said, Brother John, can go and talk. Are you me talk? The person said, Jonathan, can go and talk. Are you me talk? You said it in the mind. You can go and talk. You can go and talk. If you underline that in here, you just say, I see it in the night. You said, You can go and talk. You can go and talk. Are you me talk? Are you me talk? You're going to start your part of your journey if you don't change. Repent.
with consistency in righteousness that can come without forgiveness. Yeah. Brethren, Jacob, 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 do everything. Jacob, go and win everything. You yes. must go back to Esau. You must track back, go back and, and face Esau. And trust God to face Esau. Yeah, Esau them in your life, the people that we are left behind with. Yeah. You say, you say, you know, you, 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 you quote all kind of all kind of tell them, you quote on them. Yeah. Make sure that you reach, you reach, you reach and, 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 and forgive the hurt, the pain that they cause. And Bridget, I'm not going to stand here pretending that the earth is real. The earth is real. Amen. But you have to forgive. Amen. You have to be. You have to be conscious about forgiving. Yes. And the reason why you're here today, listening, is that God knows that you can. Praise Him. And let me tell you, no, 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 you, no, no, you, no, 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 you, no, no, you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus knew who we are. He died for us. I don't know why we are stubborn like this. Satan, why you just up every Sabbath come here? Satan. Satan, why you prance in front of God, but God not see you? Yes, Your bodily exercise. And the word today is forgive to be forgiven. Amen. Let go so God can hold on to you. you get. Praise his holy name. Praise uh, young people, when they describe the sincerity of the, what in what in the Psalm fifty one made you, Jim, are you ready? What in Psalm fifty one made you? Uh, which verse you have? Jim, are you ready to? Give me a verse that made you think David was sincere. I'm wrapping this up now. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Um, one that I, that caught my eye um, was Psalm fifty one verse thirteen. It says. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Praise the Lord. What do you know about sincere? Um, cause his whole, his whole, um, his whole prior was off of repentance, and he didn't only think of himself when he said he wanted to repent. He said he will teach others to repent, and then let them come. Stop him. Well done. Well done. Well done. So what you got, Brother Jim? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, the, this is two verses. Two verses that taught me was Jesus, verse two, speak up, verse two and three. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse mm. me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is forever before me. Praise the Lord. Yeah, what made you think? Um, this is saying that he knows that he was sinning. He knows that. He was messing up, so he's asking God for forgiveness. He he knows that everything he has done throughout his life, he knows he has messed up. He knows how, um, how he looked before God. He knows what um, that is things, and he just put it for before God, so God can forgive him, for, so he can wash wash him and cleanse him and make him new again. He's my friend. Thank you, Brother Jaden. Brother Ellis? Um, the two verses that um, stood out to me were verses 3 and 4. Verses number 3 and 4. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou might, mightest be justified, and thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. So basically it was... He acknowledged, once you come to a place of acknowledgement and acceptance that what I've done was wrong, and I can go back to my master and say, hey master, what I did, to, what I did against you was wrong. I accept every consequence that comes in my life beyond this, and your judgment is never wrong. Once you get to that level of understanding, acceptance, and agreeance with whatever you face, that's basically humbling yourself to a point of sincerity that whenever you go to God, you know, within your heart that all is well. You must acknowledge my brother Jane, not the same verse, but acknowledgement. One point of sincerity is to acknowledge. And that brother Fizzle does that just so you have to acknowledge say you're broken. You have to acknowledge say something all right. And God help me to fix it, because if I don't fix it, I'm not gonna get to you. Sister Mazi got love.
Which verse we chose? Which verse don't you? If you read us some questions, please get ready. I'm going right into it. I have a few verses. I what? have a verse um, six. Behold, thou desirest truth and the inward part, mm. and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Mm. And verse uh, 17, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, mm. a broken and a contrite heart, O oh God, thou wilt not despise. And those are just saying that even though we know that we're unworthy and we're so undone before God, that all he wants is for us to be honest and open and not come to him as if we're high or that we are, you know, in that place or in that position to act as if everything's okay. But what he wants us to do is say, God, I, you know me better than I know myself. And, you know, I, I sin each and every day or I say I break my promises to you and just different stuff. All he wants from us is the truth. So those are the ones that stood out. Clap your hands. Amen. Amen. I love it. First Samuel 1, 1, 8 to 15. Matthew 9, 27. Discuss the effectiveness of Anna's pride. And the blind men. First Samuel 1, 8 to 15. Then said then Elkanah, said, okay, her husband, to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am I not better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept sore. And she vowed a vow, and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. 15. And Hannah answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Um, Mark 9, 27. And when Jesus departed to, to hence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. Sister, Sister Tapper, can you talk to me about the effectiveness of Anna's prayer? What did you notice in what you read? Um, so Hannah, she, she continued praying and she continued believing even when um, they thought, well, Eli thought she was drunken, but she knew who she oh, oh, um, yeah. had her faith in. Um, verse, verse, uh, verse 11, um, when she prayed to God and she asked, she said to look on her affliction, thine handmaid, and to remember her, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give thine handmaid a man child. And then she continued praying when Eli marked her mouth. So pretty much she still believed and she didn't give up hope. She continued praying to God. Praise him. Thank you, Sister Tapper. Sister, Sister um, Reed, we got from the blind man. What did they cry out? They cried out, yeah, Reed. Mm -hmm. I said, Reed, you Praise him. Because when they cry out for God like to have mercy with them, they cry out with a sincere heart. Uh, Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Anna 
Fire was affected because something powerful was happening in her life. Preacher, you hear it here, she go. Brethren, she had, she had a parallel. She had a, she had a situation in her life. I'm closing now. She had a situation in her life. She had a lion's den. Named Penina. The Bible said Penina had sons and daughters. That means that she had at least four people. So we're talking about a six to eight year period and Anna is going up year to year. I want to sons and daughters and it sound like four to me. But it's a son and daughter. I'm just putting in minimum of four. And preacher, when they go up, she said, she said, me a pity, but you no got no word. And she just singing, she talking, she pressure with it. Mule, she got all kind of things. And Anna was not having it. She said, but Bridget, the thing is that, Bridget, I'm not talking about fibroids and all of that. I'm not talking about all of that. I'm not, I'm not doing the medical. I'm talking about the Bible said, God, shut it. And Bridget, it's time that we worship God when doors are shut. It's time that in our barrenness, we still see God. Because if, if, if you are faithful, because I too, I too, I too ain't coming up. When God shut it is for two reasons. Mm -hmm. I didn't mess with the anointing. Or it's not time for someone to be born. Yes, sir. Oh Jesus. Virgin the time ago. Let me explain. David was bringing back the ark. Yes, sir. And when the man, when the man come preach up, and the man reaching, I think, and the man a dark, the man to a start to come out. I see why for every day. And she criticized the worship. Amen. <coughs> so if the thing, if your business lock off, yes. if your womb, your business, your your whatever, if everything will go airwire, check yourself. Are you criticizing the work of God? Yes. So I'm just covering that part first. I'm just covering that part first. Otherwise, it's just God the ready for Isaac Barney. God the ready for for, for Samuel Barney. God the ready for John Barney. Anybody know who we are talking about? Amen. These are women who are barren. Amen. Joseph and Benjamin can not come yet. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. Let's build that one. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. Oh Jesus. Amen. The surrogates. Yes. And focus on God. Amen. Focus on that. Okay, I'm barren now, but Isaac is on the way. Amen. Praise the soul in him. I'm, I'm, I'm barren now, but John the Baptist is on the way. God made me with all in your womb because your son going to be the next bishop. Yes. Oh, oh, Jesus, the bread you're not getting. Yeah, right. get to the you must be coming at the right time. We can connect with the time. Maybe your son is going to get the church through the persecution. You're going to need a leader like your picnic. Can somebody worship God in your barrenness because you don't know what God has in store for you? Sarah was 90 something. Then you wait a wait, preacher. And God, little did she know that what came out of her would be the, the, the seed. Oh, praise his holy name. That would bring forth Esau and Jacob. Which would bring forth, praise his holy name. Oh, all in the 12 tribes of Israel. And even dukes on Esau's side. 12 dukes too. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And what I'm saying is that the entire earth will be blessed to somebody who thought that everything was drying up and gone. God is saying today, I can resurrect your spiritual life, I can resurrect your business, I can resurrect your, resurrect your womb, I can resurrect anything. But you gotta trust me. Amen. And trust my timing. But I'm also telling you it's two ways it works. Check yourself too. Are you Mikal? Or are you Anna? And that may I ask today. Are you Mikal? Or are you Anna? But in the arm, um, when Abraham and Gunnar want place, so that place, that, that place, so people gotta get trouble in the arm. Let them have a team boss here and God, the Bible said them play them and play them. The fear of God, God, God shut out some things. Let me tell you. Uh, come on. <laughs> Praise is all in there. Praise is all. Elizabeth gave up all together. But she had to be a John the Baptist. You think John the Baptist could just come and burn and all and then and Jesus said, come here. He had to come in time. 
I laid up with Jesus, so it could be the four without Jesus. He could have come up, he could without Jesus. He could have come in a time which didn't work with Jesus, because he's the four without Christ. He had to stand on the river of Jordan and say, Come up or bring forth for yes. me or repentance. Yes. Or somebody yes. bless the name of Jesus. And so in closing, I want to declare to these kids today. You see Jane and Javan sitting over there smiling and looking. They are miracle children. I pray today that your lives be effective. Amen. Because it will come through prayer. Yes. Your parents were told that it was not possible. Come on now. Jane has given his life to the Lord. I want you to get effective now. Yes, and Javan, you're turning 13 Monday. It's time to, to, to run, run to Christ. Amen, amen, amen. I'm not only talking about it on the pulpit, I'm encouraging to have my heart. Because some people are going to go and go and let me preach and then open your address and my own. Nobody with it. I'm telling him consistently, work with the Lord. Praise his own name. Run for your life, preacher. Amen. Because you were born out of prayer. Man, man, man. Man, man, man. You were born out of prayer. Because this. These are people who Amen. put into prayer for deliverance to come. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. When I wrote to Joyce, Isaac came out of prayer. Amen. Bless the name Amen. of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. We were told Joanna would have Down syndrome. She's blessed. Amen. Be effective. Amen. Give your life to the Lord and don't embarrass God. Yes. I'm charging these children yes. to arise and get up and, and live a life of God. Jesus, the doctors told us to go and adopt kids because you can't have them. And there you can't, Jamin. Bless the name of Jesus. That Friday morning, praise is all the for something. And when I looked at you, I fell in love with you. Yes, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You're a miracle. Yes, sir. You came through sincere prayer. The saints prayed. Amen. The saints prayed. Yes. Many days of fasting. And my wife, my wife and I, we were thinking about adopting someone. And then you came. We had phantom pregnancies. A phantom pregnancy. But God made you real. When you came, you were real. Amen. We were going to call you Joel. I don't know what I look at him. I said, Melissa, you don't look at no Joel. Let's call him Javan. Yes. Praise his holy name. Yes. And let me tell you something. You are a blessing. I mean, anybody tell the anything to call away. You're a miracle. A blessing. And I'm saying to you today, you can be an effective man of God. I will not hold you back spiritually. You'll be a man of God. I rebuke the devil from your life. And I invite God into it. Because you're a blessing. Jaden, walk as a blessing. What up your head because I can't make you come. Yeah. Take a man and say, can't happen. John, John, you're a double, double. You know what I'm saying? They were saying you can't happen. And all that nothing came too God that God is going to use to do some great things. But I am you are here for a purpose. But you're here for a purpose. You're all miracles. You're somebody's miracle. Start to walk effective because somebody prayed for you. Somebody prayed for you. Sister Shakia, you should be Amen. Yes, you want to read that out one. Amen. Praise him. Amen. Praise him. Praise God. Then you sit and you question how well. Otherwise, it may have been, may have never have happened. But you are here. Amen. Because you're somebody's miracle. Amen. And the devil will tell you about somebody's misfortune, but I declare to you, you're somebody's miracle. Amen. I'm glad I know you. I will, I will encourage you. Amen. I'll be a source of encouragement for you. Yes. You, are, you are a miracle. Yes, you are. Amen. Walk like a miracle. Yes. Be effective in your prayers. Yes. Because despite everything, despite every advice, yes. you are still on this earth. Praise his holy name. Yes. Despite every advice against your life, yes. as, a, as, a, as an embryo, God preserve yes. you to be here today. Yes. Are the faculties in place? You are a walking miracle. Start to talk. Be effective. Because you, oh bless the name of Jesus. I'm putting this part in the lesson. That sometimes six year prayer happens, but we don't walk in effectiveness. We become ineffective after sincere prayer and we become ineffective. 
our children who God bless us to let us encourage them so that their life is an effective Christian. So when God come and call our parents, but pity safe too. All that we are going to kill up today last. Not so. We are, we are reclaiming the children of Zion. And I'm telling you, you are a miracle. You are somebody's miracle. You are God's miracle. You are heritage of God. God bless you. God keep you. Praise God. Mm, yes. You pray one time. And it never come true. Don't believe that the answer is no. 